tell you what, these adverts are going to be a bit all over the place. We're going different clothes for Manscaped advert, different clothes for Feel Supreme, different clothes for the episode, different clothes for the advert. We're juggling. Well, um, as so you can probably hear our new little tune in the background, we've got a new little jingle, haven't we? We've got jingles. We've, we've just recorded an amazing episode with Mark Nelson. Classic. Um, what a guy. Amazing. What a comic. Yeah, he told us a harrowing story about having a wank somewhere. You can look forward to that one. Yeah. Uh, that's some good chats with him, wasn't it? It was classy, it's hilarious. It was great, yeah. uh, Before um, we get into that, though, what are we on? We're on Patreon. Yes, we are. Uh, our Patreon grows by the day. We'll soon be taking over the world. Watch out mainstream uh, television. We're coming for you. Um, we have so many mad ideas that are going to be coming to you on Patreon. There's already... Like an accumulation of craziness on there. What's on there? Include there's somebody here. Oh. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello, Bobby. Who is it? Oh, it's Wallace. Hey, do you want to jump on our advert? <laughs> you <have> it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate. Mm. If if you sign up to our Patreon, you can get a dog. No, well, you can see our dogs from home if you like yeah, dogs. If you like the look of this dog and you want to see two more dogs sat on the couch with us, sign up to the Patreon, £3 a month. Um, uh, there's loads of stuff on there, all the live shows and that. Um, there's, there's about to be a, a burlesque performance on there like you've never seen before. Yeah. Um, which is I'm, really bad. I'm really and not looking forward to it. It's in a few days. That's going to be uploaded. Uh, there's a live show at a swingers house. There's interviews with swingers at the same house. It's 13 live shows, talent shows, and people are getting the right idea now. They're coming down to be actually talented. People are on stepping there. it up. <laughs> it? Last what um, guests have we had? We had Johnny Bongo last time, Adam Rowe, Nightingale, Jamie Hutchinson, yeah. Freddie Quinn, Rob Mulholland. They've Everyone. all been on. You haven't been on our live show. Do you want to come do our talent show, Carl? Patreon exclusive. Carl said he's going to do our talent show at some point. And that will be on the Patreon some point on in camera. the future. So, um, And he's not having his dog back until he does it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, go sign up. Sick over stuff. there. It's just really good. Honestly, just go check it out once if, if that's all you can afford. And um, binge through and then yeah. we'll see you. In the six months. Next time. Yeah. But anyway, go sign up. Patreon.com forward slash the Mad High Club. On to the episode with Mark Nelson. Love you, bye. In a bit. The Mile High Club. 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 Go like really into my shell. Eh. So we started this, we're waiting for Mark Nelson to join us. He's very, uh, very late. Naughty, naughty Mark, Mark. Um, so while we were waiting, Cameron, it was first time on the podcast, but... Well, give uh, the Cameron. people what they want. But yeah. not, not first time on, he's been behind the cameras and that a lot, but first time actually on the on the show. Yeah. And he's dressed as a horse. He just, he just told me that he spent six months as a horse. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's the end. For what? That's the end of that. Well, I did an, an acting degree, so... There's a every actor you'll meet. I, <laughs> I do it every time I'm, I'm at a show and, I, and someone says that they studied acting as well. We do like animal studies. Right. Have you heard of it? Not really. No. Only like veterinary. It's like an. I feel like a different person with this. It's like an, <laughs> it's like an acting technique where you study. You're like you're being bored. <laughs> okay, he's <read> you, <laughs> you study animals' movement basically, and then. <laughs> yeah. So you th- you got a horse for six months. <laughs> you get given your animal. So whenever, anytime you see someone who's who's on the acting course, you say to them like, "What animal were you?" Well, yeah, it's like your Patronus. Okay, you I'm gonna start asking one. people like if I yeah, ever yeah. meet one yeah. hosting. So, so it's like dead sly if someone got given a sloth or something or like a that. A snake was, or something. That would be the stallion. best one. You don't have to do much. You're yeah, a stallion. My, my mate got sloth. He just like was like this. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, you study to be an animal yeah. for six months. You're in Six fir- months. Yeah, and you're in first year as well. So then you have to do a show where all the other years come and walk around the zoo, basically. Was this a school or a mental hospital? Yeah, well, acting degrees are a bit mad. Yeah. Yeah, just a bit. There was a, or really? There was a session where you we just spooned each other. Like, Fuck off. But it, but it was the like, teacher wasn't involved as well, were they? No. Okay, well, that's all right. Then. Well, they were watching. Some acting schools, I'm pretty sure they were. Yeah. But, <laughs> Yeah, they were watching and they were just like, you have to spoon each other because that's what animals do. I've never seen horses spoon. (laughs) 
<laughs> Neither have I. So what did you what what sh- give us show us show us a video of your horse? I'll do it. For you, you did now. a nair and it was really good. Yeah. So basically, I mean, I can't show you the movement, but I had to walk around like this <laughs> <laughs> on your fists. <laughs> I was like, some people had crutches, but I just used my hands. <laughs> and then every so often I just go. <laughs> and just walk around. Like. Idiots, oh. right? And on that there note, you go, let's short get Mark story in. before Mark gets here. Uh, Join me, Mark Nelson. Yes. Welcome to the show, man. All right. Lovely to have you here. Um, you asked for a Guinness. I had coffee, but Guinness. Yep. What you're getting? I've just pissed all over You've myself. Pissed it all over <laughs> yourself as well. I, I, this is what I hate about Guinness. They fucking yeah. Why? Why do you do that? Are they, is it fizzy? It's got like a widget in it. Be. Or something, isn't Aye, it? it's got that wee. It's like a wee plastic ball. Yeah, the widget. It's fucking weird. Yeah, but anyway, we're we're here at Mark Nelson. Um, we just having a brief chat with Cameron before you come in about being an actor, an uh-huh. acting student. Um, and they all have to do animal studies for the first six months. Are you aware of this? No. So Cameron, I'm wondering if it's real now because <laughs> you might have just been had off. I six so. months he had to be a horse. Be a so, horse. Yeah. All the time. So well, specific classes that was animal studies. So you go in, study to be an animal. They said, and then <laughs> all and then, the actors do it. And then the <laughs> older students would come round and pretend to walk around the zoo, and they were all the animals in well, the that zoo. Was the that doesn't sound right, does it? Get a fucking wicker man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You've, you've been out so of you. Could you speak, or did no. you have no. to no. No. Oh, animals yeah. can't speak, Mark. So, no. <laughs> show, 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 Mark. They you. did it deadly seriously, so they, you get given your animal. Right. So it's a big day when you go in and you're, like, you're getting oh. cast as your like animal. Like the sort and hat, like yeah. with a yeah. sort and hat on you. So you get given it based on. Something, how you move or something right. like that. So then you, <laughs> you study to be the animal. Have you got so a big, you had <sighs> big horse energy? So I was yeah. like, yeah. Me and two girls. So I was like, yeah, stallion energy. <laughs> <laughs> like, and then we had to seriously go away and rehearse being wow. a horse. Yeah. 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 Show, him, show him your neck. <laughs> That's pretty good, though, isn't it? That's six months, fucking, that. that's, Give me six months. That's money well spent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Was there anyone raging, like, angry that, of the animal? Like, you know, like reservoir dogs when they get their colours. Was there anyone <laughs> proper angry that they were? I don't think so. My mate was a sloth, and I thought that was shit, but he loved it. He smashed it. Ah, that's just a lead <laughs> about, isn't it? Yeah. He was yeah. just like Can't do much as time. a sloth, yeah. What, what would you be, Mark? Yeah, what do you reckon? Oh, a shark. Oh. Are, you allowed to be a, are you allowed to be? Do you need to be a walking animal or? Quite no. hard to be an yeah, aquatic be animal, isn't it? You could get whales on uh, your belly. Yeah, yeah. they had birds and that. So lie on a skateboard. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we we'll cast as everyone as their animals and open the mild high club zoo. Oh, oh yeah. Class. <laughs> oh, it's gonna happen. That's a Patreon special yeah. waiting to happen, isn't it? I love this. Come we'll around the mild high club zoo. Yeah, we're gonna um, when next time we speak to Kai, we're gonna try and hire his dog place out. Oh, oh yeah. And do a shit crufts. And oh. we all take our shit dogs. That is class. And, yeah. and just have a shit I was time. Like, <laughs> shout out Lauren Patterson for that idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, any any comedians with a dog, we get them down or up. Uh, oh, you oh, can, you can be, yeah, you yeah. can you be can come dog. Yeah, you can be our dog. Oh, we've got two dogs, but you, three dogs we can have. Yeah, you can be give one me six them. months, I'll yeah. be so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so how have you been, Mark? It's, it's nice right, to man. have you here, finally, Aye, man. It's good. Um, you're up in Liverpool, down in Liverpool for some gigs and that. Eurovision right? weekend. Oh, chocolate, isn't mm. it? Affecting the clubs, isn't it? <laughs> It is, I Weird, yeah. It is weird. Mm. Um, I've not really been about. Apparently there's like a big village and stuff that you can go down to. The docks ways, uh, yeah. Aye. I mean, town's been absolutely rammed, but like all the gigs have proper suffered. Aye. Like, it's been I, weird. I did a gig last night in a food court with a crying baby. That was great. This isn't five gigs in. This Remember that? Aye. Remember five gigs in? In a food court? <laughs> in a food mm. court. Jesus. Yeah. Crying baby. And I was talking about getting cum on my head. <laughs> and I was like, this feels very uncomfortable <laughs> for me. Um, <laughs> it went all right. So you did. Was the baby, was it Was a, a punter had brought their baby well, along? It, it was like us. It was diners Fuck, with the babies. Fuck, of course, I so. Oh, Jesus. Oh, there was yeah. diners here and then comedy here. And you're going, hi, everyone. Uh, are we, can you? Uh, and every two minutes, you're, bloop, the alarm's going off for someone to go oh, and get the man. food and that. It was just like, uh, and I was just sat there going, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to do this anymore. <laughs> it was made up. Yeah. I, did, I, did, I did, you know, you say you don't have to do them anymore. I, Gilded Balloon did a gig up in, it was a new hotel opening in Edinburgh. Yeah. 
and they asked for folk to come along. And it was in the restaurant, mm -hmm. and they were so people were sitting there eating. But where they put the stage, stage where mm. they put the mic, yeah. was right where people were bringing the food out. Oh shit! So, so every every, every past, second yeah. you had people coming right with hot plates of food, yeah. and the audience hadn't been told there was going to be a gig, oh, so they were fucking. The worst, there was, a, there was yeah. a couple that hadn't laughed or done uh, engaged at all once, mm. mm -hmm. so I started fucking laying in at them, and neither of them spoke English. Oh. Just oh. sitting there <laughs> having their dinner ruined <laughs> by a. That's fat Scottish person yelling yeah. at the chips, <laughs> kicking the chips as they come. Well, yeah, <laughs> but, yeah, but that's that's one of the like because when you first start out, I took like any gig anywhere. Oh god, yeah. ever. And then obviously, as you start getting more and more into it, you start realizing like oh, I don't need to do that. Yeah. Or, so I was there. I just went down because Amy was on. And I was just laughing and everyone going, ah, you'd have to go. Like, I don't <laughs> have to come and do these no more. I've yeah. made up. Uh, like, I said, like you say, every now and then you turn up to one not knowing. And then Aye. you go, oh, fucking hell. How did it go, Amy? It, it went well, well for what it was. Well it? for it was. Apparently, uh, my stuff's really dark, but I don't know how to. Like, Jenny Hart afterwards was like, ah, you got balls. I wouldn't have done that. And I was like, I haven't got any other material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, I didn't know, have I a, a choice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> But yeah, it went well. Like, um, um, yeah, for five gigs in, you're flying, dead, dead comfortable, yeah. dead like, looks like, I described um, it as, it looks like a uh, an established act trying new material. Aye. Rather than a new act. That's you know good. What I mean? My whole life has been very uncomfortable, so to be up there is fine. Aye. I don't feel anything. Oh, if you've got, <laughs> if you've got the stage presence already, then I'm you're just yeah, like, halfway there. Like, yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I'm enjoying it. See see what happens. Got another one on Tuesday. Did you feel like this last night was the first mental. time you, like, enjoyed it while Beginning you were doing it? Beginning to enjoy it, yeah, because I, I hated it. I was like, this is disgusting. Um, but now I'm starting to just uh, get used to it. I, I yeah. think. Yeah, but you will do. It's this like week's just mad. Of doing four podcasts this week, um, two gigs, and then we've got a burlesque. We <laughs> <laughs> got dancing on rehearsal. Sunday, yeah. uh, rehearsal, and then we got our performance um, on Wednesday. Is it mm -hmm. where yeah. we're performing burlesque? Yeah. And we're shit. <laughs> um, so it's just, it's just what a weird week it is. Um, but this is our life now. Yeah. <laughs> What's your, have you got a theme? About, you know, like some people have like... The burlesque. Aye. Um, it's, it's to... Gold. G gold. Black and gold. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, it's, it's to... to I, are you going to be my gold. girl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm black enough, but... He's got a black leg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm halfway there. <laughs> Uh, but one of our dancers, Kay, she's like got a club foot now. Like she, she was on holiday and she slipped in some sick, and her foot's just oh, black and gold. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, so she's gonna be hobbling. Um, have you seen the costumes that I've got them? Like yeah. gold wrestling gold singlets, wrestling singlets with oh, dance nice. pouches for the penises. Like oh yes, and rip off pants. Oh yeah, class! Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and they've got to like go down the tables like Kyoto Ugly. <laughs> That sounds fucking brilliant. Sounds <laughs> awful, though. <laughs> sounds brilliant for everyone watching. Nah, yeah. Sounds awful for us having to do it. Yeah. Barry um, Dodds wore, wore one of them. It was a bright pink one. When ooh, we met, remember the comedians? Nice. We did comedy when we did the comedians boxing. No, but I know Kai but, organized Kai it. And that, yeah, he yeah. fought Matt Reed. Oh yeah. yeah. And, and, and Barry's like he wouldn't mind me saying like he's fat bastard. <laughs> 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 so he came in with this fucking uh, tight. I can't even remember. It might have been rubber or something like right, that. Right, yeah. Like this like wrestling thing right fucking tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just the, the shit is horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny, that. Yeah, that's funny with the, like, comedians boxing and that, because sometimes either the comedians will take it dead serious and, like, properly train for yeah. it and then have a decent boxing match. Or, like you say, it'll just be like Barry Dodds just yeah. coming in dressed in pink and just sw swinging and trying not to get punched or I whatever. Thought, I thought Gav Webster. Mm. And it was literally like two fat blokes in a pub car park <laughs> <laughs> after a night. Like Did it you was enjoy proper. it? I loved it. Yeah. I genuinely loved it. And it was pro a proper emotional after it. was a great it, cause, it. wasn't it? Yeah. So, like, it's, it's all like and good like, for that. Because, like, the last round... Me, because Gav, like, he, we'll do three rounds or something. Three rounds, I three two minute rounds. Yeah, which doesn't sound much, but it's fucking like, loads. But, yeah, see, but, yeah. but the last minute, me and Gav could barely stand, and mm. we were just leaning on each other. <laughs> and Have a little hug. He knocked me down like twice. Yeah, I like properly, big, yeah, big fucking yeah, yeah. guy. Like it was a proper weight mismatch, mm. and uh, but then the 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 referee said that 
I boxed the perfect second round. Oh, nice. Which I, was, I mean, I didn't, I didn't yeah. fucking hurt Gavin the slightest. No. But he said the way you were moving, and I was like, didn't oh, get it. Hit yeah. Not yeah. 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 The yeah. Round, yeah. You really. were on your arse in the second yeah. round. So yeah. 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 Are, you, uh, are you going to watch Paul Smith's fight? I'm thinking about it, aye. Oh, it's going to be intense. We want to get yeah, ginger wigs and going. turkey teeth. Aye, because, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All turn up in McLaren's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little toy one. Because uh, I thought the guy, the guy's fighting isn't a professional no. UFC fighter. He's like, oh, he's, been he's on, a beginner as well. Yeah, he, I think he may have had a boxer match, like a charity one. But he was on like... X Factor or Aye. some shit and that, so he's I've just like a personality as well. He looks, he looks too polished. Not that there's anything wrong with being polished, but to go up against Paul Smith, I think Aye. he's going to batter him. I think yeah, Paul must fancy his chances. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. been training with some. He's been training like Aye. John Kavanagh and everything, mm. Paul, over in Ireland and shit like that. Aye. Johnny <laughs> Walker and that, <laughs> training with him, shit. shit like that. So, oh, you know, shit. he's getting involved. Like, yeah. uh, just quickly, what have you had? Have you ever had one of these before? Shite, it's coffee, Guinness. Yeah. It's not nice, is it? Weird, yeah. Is it not nah. nice? Um, we tried with the Guinness, Can I sip but it? it's hard to it's hard to get Guinness right in the uh, Guinness is it wasn't bad. They, they used to do a thing, a, a search machine, where you would buy like cans. Do you like, do it now? Aye, we've like, got the cans, but flat, we haven't got the aye, thing. Aye, so I couldn't do one of them for you, aye. unfortunately. Buy the coffee's not. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? That's so weird. I was like a during lockdown, I signed up to like a beer subscription. Beer fifty two. It was beer fifty two, right? And the. Uh, <laughs> It's fine at the start, yeah. and then some of the shit you get sent. It's, it's like random. the middle of summer, and you're getting sent a fucking licorice flavored porter. Yeah, like, yeah, right. Uh, Don't feel like you have to drink that. I can oh, get no, you something else. If, uh, is right. Yeah, um, it's trooper. Did Three you try? Did you leave beer fifty two? I never, I never signed you never started. No. It's the hardest thing I've ever had to. <laughs> really? I, yeah. had to, I had to tell it right. So because the the first time I tried to leave. I was basically li- like, it's locked down. I don't have any work anymore. I can't really afford this. Mm. And, uh, the guy was like, oh, what we can do is we can give you the next three months for a pound a month. So obviously I went, yeah, fuck, I can afford that. <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah. And then after that, I tried to leave and they just wouldn't, they, they kept saying no, they kept saying no. Eventually I had to Why did they say no? Just because it's like that, can I, because they, you don't get, it's not like you can go into the, website and just click a button unsubscribe you have yeah. to actually speak to someone really? yeah. and they're proper salesmen and i'm mm. shit with those kind of people anyway yeah. I just get yeah, yeah, yeah. eventually i had to manufacture a drinking problem i had <laughs> and even then <laughs> even then so they were like so i was getting like six 12 cans a month or something like yeah. that and i said look it's really sad that i'm really got a serious drinking problem there i'm gonna have to properly knock it in the head uh. and they went well what we can do is we can half them and only send you six <laughs> and i was like it's not really the volume <laughs> that's <laughs> causing the fucking drinking problem here it's not <laughs> that's yeah that's mad, bad isn't it? that isn't it mad. i had debt collectors after me from trying to cancel a gym membership and mm. it, it's like void if you move like 12 miles away and i was yeah. like i am in melbourne australia <laughs> please fuck off yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's get a new phone number and everything so you just won't leave me alone Rats, aren't crazy they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah so uh anything exciting been going on man and going on fucking just chilling same man. old when last time i seen you was in glasgow and someone had been sick on the stairs oh that was horrible that, that was a mad gig that did morning. he tell you about that no before the gig had started, someone had been sick all over the stairs. Yeah, in three Glasgow. flights as well. Yeah, yeah, and it stunk. And and they were definitely still in the audience as well. Oh, not it like, yeah, it was a mad one. Was right Adam bell ends in the audience. Adam's no, gig, no, it's a uh, the rotunda in Glasgow. Oh uh, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was fun. I like. I, I'd never been to Glasgow before. I've been twice been. now. It's so I like it. Aye, yeah, like it's it, good, yeah. isn't it? Like it's cool. I city, love man. Scotland. We Aye. all want to move, don't we? Don't we, Cameron and Dean? Yeah, we want to start a commune. <laughs> yeah, we do. Are you just doing in at the fringe? No. We're no. going yeah. up for a few days. Aye. We're going to try and do a pop up podcast somewhere. Aye, I was going to say, like, in like a aye. pub somewhere and just tweet out, like, oh, we're here from two till four, come down. And then just try off people pop in. Aye. Yeah, That'd be yeah, class, aye. Yeah. Yeah. See, I just yeah. need to have a look at some pubs that might be good for doing yeah. it. And I don't yeah. really know anywhere around there. So i fucking do yeah, like, yeah. That's what I love about the fringe because, um, like, me and Rachel Fairburn did a night last year where we DJed. She, yeah. she just messaged me pissed one night and said, look, we've got the same, similar kind of taste of music. Do you fancy seeing if anyone will let us DJ for yeah. a night? <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, so why not? Well, then let's go. We just sent a load of messages and Gildy Balloon got back to us and went, yeah, you can do it. Yeah, that's what I mean. Because I feel like class. during the day, if you do like two till four or yeah. whatever in a pub, it's got to be in during the fringe a pub that goes, yeah, go ahead. You can ah, set up in the corner. We only need a little corner. during the fringe. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah so. are, you, are you doing an hour or? I'm doing an hour, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're doing that, the full run? 
Yeah, I did fill nice. them. But that's that's the what that's I love I much prefer the other types of gigs. Yeah. Uh, you know Alison Spittle? Northern the name Irish. Rings a bell, but I don't, I don't know. Uh, maybe Irish. I can't remember if she's Northern Irish or yeah. Irish. Apologies to all the <laughs> Irish people that are oh, one raging. after that you've offended. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's doing a gig on the last night that's because she loves new metal and emo music. Mm. She's doing a gig where it's basically comics just going up and singing a new metal song. That's amazing. So I'm like, I'm fucking. Uh, yeah, I'll be, I'll be on like, for that. Oh yeah. Oh, God, yeah. I'll put it on Twitter, I think. Yeah. Did yeah. she, yeah? I forgot you so I've, asked, I've asked to do, <laughs> do break stuff. Nice. By Limp Biscuit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you doing download? No, I've not. I've not done download in years. No, actually, I'm doing it for the first time. It's this class. Year. Can't wait. It's a special 20th anniversary this year. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Who's the headline acts? Metallica are doing Thursday and Sunday. And Slipknot. Oh. They're doing Talking an extra. That's ah, class, extra day. man. Yeah. That's so but good. I can't really go to the festival. Yeah. Aye. Because I didn't know I was going to get it, and I've booked to go to London, and we've booked like our accommodation and all that, and gigs in London yeah. for the weekend, and then I found out two days ago. Yeah. Oh, do you want to do download? Aye. So I don't even know if you get passes for the full weekend. Or oh, you do? Aye, aye, you do, feel, yeah. aye. But I, can't, I could yeah. only go the Thursday. And if. what's nice about the gig at it is it's, it's the only thing that's on. Yeah. So, if so you're not competing with anything. Yeah. And yeah, so yeah. everybody's fucking there. Yeah, can't nice. wait. Last the, the Dean's people as well. Aye. Yeah. Love you. Last time I went to download, uh, the headliners were ACDC, Rage Against the Machine and Aerosmith. That's cool. Oh, I was sick. just like, this is sick. fucking What's your favourite right festival? Favourite festival doesn't exist anymore. It's Tea in the Park. Oh, uh, is it? Uh, what, what, what music is that? It was yeah. basically just just whatever. It started off kind of Britpop. Yeah. So it started off in 94. Because I, I, ev- I went to every single one of them. Yeah. Apart from one, because my daughter was born on the weekend of it. And is I was that fucking that? furious. <laughs> <laughs> <during the weekend. laughs> like, is that T4 or something? Didn't they I do festivals? Put it on telly, didn't they? Yeah. Aye, the beach thing, yeah. yeah. But that was proper poppy. That was oh. like Tea in the Park's different. different. Is it? Yeah. Oh, tea in the yeah. Park was like the biggest scum oh, in the okay. world. Like it was proper. Nice. It was proper Neds. Yeah. All weekend. Yeah. Right. Like fucking mayhem. Mm. Are you, are you like them, more though. scal or, or emo? Like there's goths and chavs, isn't there? I would probably, I'd probably go chavy. Yeah. More than that, because because I grew up during. Brit pop nineties, yeah, yeah, that yeah. Was, yeah, like with the yeah. fucking all Oasis and all that aye, type aye, of stuff. Aye, aye. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I had my, I had my emo period, like oh yeah, early two thousands, <laughs> like, like, oh, your fuck, little fringe and yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I went much more new metal. Like I had the fucking Fred Durst. Yeah. Back. Backwards red backwards caps. Red. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. I started like wearing absolute backwards caps. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I look cool, man. Uh, <laughs> that's class. Yeah. That's um, do you want to hit us with one of them? Mm. Right, this is a new thing. I've wrote a list, a big list of questions. Yeah. And as I was writing, the murder ball was kicking in. So <laughs> it, they get gradually Chicken weird. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the horse, uh, straight from the horse's mouth, straight please. From the hey. horse's mouth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. I like it. Well, there's some. I'm going to start with a very simple question <laughs> odds numbers or even numbers? <laughs> <laughs> and why? <laughs> Fuck. Uh, Have you got a favourite number? I'd, three. I'd, three. I'd have to go odd numbers. Odd, yeah. It's Why the only, is three your favourite I don't number? know. I don't know how it started, but I've got like a weird OCD thing where yeah. I do things three times. Okay. Oh. I have to lock the door three times before I go out. Yeah. Okay. And I've got a really so weird you lock thing. it, unlock it? Yeah. And then lock it again, and then yeah. unlock it. Lock and then it I push it three times to make sure it's definitely locked. Yeah. And then I'll oh. go up the road, and then ten minutes up the road I'll go... I love yeah, that yeah, and then yeah, run yeah. back. Again. <laughs> oh, no. That's proper OCD. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. real OCD. A lot of, like three times. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of comedians uh, have OCD. Yeah. Yeah, like it's... I think it's ADHD, OCD is like a, De- an underlying thing depression. in comedians that yeah. you don't really... <laughs> not diagnose with, yeah. but you definitely have got. got yeah. You kind of mm. need to because you need to be able to look at stuff differently to yeah. other people. So you kind of need something going on in your head. Yeah, definitely. Like, cause you, like you say, you can see something... That everyone just looks at, and then you see it a bit differently, and go, Aye. "Hey, has anyone ever noticed this?" And everyone goes, "No, that's mad, yeah. isn't it?" Like, so Aye. like, you do have to. Mm. You, it's, there's no, co- there's no comic that I can think of that's proper sorted. Like they're just they're down the level, <laughs> yeah. normal. Like, yeah, mm. yeah, they're all a bit tapped in it. Yeah, they're all gone through something mad. Yeah. And then if they haven't, they're just like drama students who've yeah. fucking got some places to the parents. <laughs> <laughs> Me outside a corner shop. What are you on? Know, on. <laughs> <laughs> well, talking about comics, here's one of Amy's questions. 
Uh, how did you come to be in the job you're in? Uh, genuinely, like proper boring story. I just loved stand up. Yeah, and then yeah. Just started doing it because I, I'd come from like a quite a small town in the south of Scotland, and when I went moved up to Glasgow, I never really, I never really knew comedy. Like people that weren't on TV, mm. yeah, could do comedy. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't. Then, no. yeah, like you just see yeah. like Lee Evans, yeah. Bill Bailey, and all mm. that. Yeah, it's, it's like a subculture. Like it's ah, it is. Yeah, with tattooing, like that's a whole mad industry yeah. that people don't know about. They yeah. think you just go somewhere. Yeah. But then we've got like mates who are like famous tattoo artists who people don't know about and they travel the world. Yeah, exactly. Tattoo yeah. People, they've got like, they do like this one flower design on everyone's hand. Paul Terry. Oh, yeah. um, style of everyone just gets whatever. it. So there's people all over the world with his flower, but no one knows who he is, like, unless you're in Aye. proper into tattooing. Aye. That's comedy's like, a bit like that. But yeah, we're like, when people ask me now, like, oh, who's your favourite comedian? I'm like, there's no point in me even telling you because you won't know. <laughs> no, yeah, no, you won't. Unless there's no you chance, say, like, but... Michael McIntyre Aye. or some shit. Aye. Like, you say someone who's on the circuit or whatever, and they go, ooh. And you go, Aye. oh, I think Liam Bolton's hilarious. Yeah. And they're like, who's that? And you're like, he's the funniest person you'll ever see. Yeah. And they're like, they've never heard of him. So it's, it's a mad Aye. thing that, like, circuit comedy, a lot of people don't even realise oh. exists in it. It's mad. That's mm. why, because, like, the first time I went, to the stand in Glasgow, my pal took me. He's from Glasgow, and Tom Stead was on, mm. and I just immediately went. I first of all this, went, yeah. "This is the coolest." Because Stead at that point was like wearing a full uh, black suit, white shirt, and he would wear shades on stage. Uh, and right, I mean, yeah. he looked like fucking Elvis at that yeah, stage as well. Yeah. And he were like, "Fuck it, this is awesome!" And man. And it was funny so cool, with it as well. It, yeah. uh, but like, I was talking to Sloss about this, and. He was like, that's why people get so offended online now mm. by stand-ups. Yeah. Because they don't go to regular comedy nights, mm. they have no concept of why that kind of stuff could be funny to anyone. Mm. They're so just saging off the down, clean shit, Yeah, yeah when, exactly. So yeah. when someone, they've never heard anyone joke about that kind of thing. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. So they, they, it's just alien to them why mm. anyone would find... The kind of yeah. shit that we find funny, funny. I get, like, me, me gig that I did uh, the other night, I was talking about, uh, basically, um, being shit at OnlyFans, and I say, like, oh, daddy, like, on, going about daddy issues, and someone went, oh. No. <laughs> like, no! <laughs> no. Doesn't work if you sympathise me, I need you to laugh at me, otherwise, yeah. what are we doing, yeah? yeah. Otherwise it's that's that's weirder though in the context of a comedy show, isn't it? Than than if someone's seeing it on a phone. Yeah. yeah. Most of that stuff should be said in a basement some, aye, somewhere. Exactly. Like, aye, yeah. Aye. yeah, that's the only, that's yeah. the only problem with putting clips online and it. You take it out of the comedy club yeah. context and put it, it just in front of someone who's sat having a cup mm. of tea at home. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> Even like, if people get outraged at it though, that's good for you now. Yeah, it that's you what people are trying that's to what do. That's yeah. what they don't understand. They yeah, don't understand yeah. every comment they put up just helps this algorithm yeah. that yeah. is just yeah. making making more people. Yeah, you're just eating out my hand. It's like, like a, exactly a, a, I'm, I'm so outraged <laughs> at this comment. I'm going to make sure everyone else sees it yeah, rather than yeah. just going, that's disgusting. No one else should be allowed like to see it. sharing it and going, this is disgusting. And then some people go, oh, this this is quite funny actually I'm going to follow yeah. him <laughs> like, yeah. genuine morons like. yeah. have you ever had any any is run-ins it? with like people trying to cancel you or anything oh fuck I have you yeah I had it like, I haven't seen any of that not that like, long ago yeah. well last weekend with the coronation oh stuff. right like, yeah, I, got, yeah. I got a lot of shit oh did, yeah. I see yeah. Yeah. your tweet went massive didn't it about yeah. uh, them not wearing seatbelts as a little as a tribute, tribute to Diana, to Diana. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that got a lot I mean a lot of shit for that yeah uh, if I mention Rangers or Celtic in a ah, joke. Right, okay. That's that's even worse. That's the worst thing you can do. Mm, football beef. Yeah. 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 And it, it, it it's just it, it's it, it's people it's the kind of people that would it's the kind of people that would go, Oh, you can't say anything anymore. Yeah. Like mm. fucking snowflakes. That's it with and the then they're the thing, most yeah. sensitive when they're it comes all the to ones, like all the fucking <laughs> 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 All them ones fuming about the coronation and that. They'll all be the, the ones going, oh, off. these fucking snowflakes and that fuming about, like, aye. fuming about just stop oil. I know, I, 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 I know. And I then know. you go, something about the coronation, and they go, oh, you can't say that about our queen. <laughs> and shut you know, fuck off, king, whatever. <laughs> hey, yeah. that on that piece of paper, yeah. that's the username, the password. Them. Yeah, he just, <laughs> yeah. He just, he just, looks, he just looks so helpless. Just looks that. mad with a big horse head on. <laughs> looks at me like, <laughs> are you not dead warm? Um, I feel like I've committed. <laughs> committed you to can't take. You're allowed to take it off if you want to. I'm, I'm enjoying it. You know, I feel like a different person. There's is a qu- there's a question there from a question. John Skelhorn. That's Shut similar up. to this. Yeah. Yeah. So it's 
From John Skelhorn here. Shout out Big John. <laughs> I'm flapping. I need to do this. <laughs> okay. Don't worry about that. You can't really see it anyway. What's been his? What's been your favourite tweet slash post that's got you in trouble? Your favourite one. Um, that coronation one was a coronation one was good because uh, the people are a fume and you're like fuck off you're yeah just, you're fuming about the king and yeah that, do you get what I mean oh, like, I, what? I, oh. I did one ages ago that was it must have been like a really hot summer or something mm. and they'd introduced a hosepipe ban right and I put like I'm absolutely furious the a hosepipe ban because I was planning on killing myself this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> and people went fucking mental really, at me. yeah absolutely mental it's mad what like, people fume on <laughs> it yeah that's Where mad. Are you alright? Can't, I, can't <laughs> I can't do the screen. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a capital H. Well, that's it. Like I, I've, uh, I, I've got to that point where I'm like, oh, I'm just going to start winding people up. Yeah. Do you know, like if they do reply to anything, I'm just going to act like stupid or whatever and like you know, yeah. just keep trying to push them. Yeah. Because it's like... It, I don't know how asked anymore. None of it's real anyway. Like Aye. it's fucking all blag as soon as you turn your phone off or whatever. Like Aye. so I'm just gonna start like toying with people now, being like, is it yeah? It's know. a difficult balance because I've tried various different things. <laughs> I've tried things where like if they've if they've if they've abused me or something, I'll then follow them. Yeah. And that's a proper like head fuck for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then I'm kind of going, that's, like that's kind of threatening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then I've gone through like just being really pleasant to them. Yeah. And then now the best thing to do is like there was a guy uh, tweeted me last week where he basically and it, the thing is he messaged me so I wasn't that because now he's now he's he's crossed over and uh, now it's allowed to get back to him right and, uh, yeah. he said he basically just said you you are scum mm. I w- <laughs> you are scum and not funny at all yeah and I just replied and went uh, check out my link tree for ticket uh, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, yeah and he said that I would rather burn my money. Then come and see you live. So I just went. I'll put you down as a maybe then. <laughs> <laughs> and you could yeah. see, it could, you could see from his replies how Fuming. fucking angry he was yeah, getting because yeah. he was like, "This isn't how I expected this to yeah. go." Yeah. Well, we used to put like, uh, we used to put like an automated message mm. being like, um, "Thank you for your comment. All your <laughs> comments help boost our video in the algorithm and all that. Thanks again for helping nice. spread the <laughs> yeah. word." That's but really like, nice. No, like, a, like, yeah, a, yeah. like we haven't like even bot. seen it. It's just yeah. like a thanks for That's really, helping really nice. the algorithm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we um the the thing is though, like being uh girls and having girls on, we always get comments on our appearance. Yeah, yeah. and it's like why, like That's you annoying, don't do eh? that for the fellas. Like they do in this episode for me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure they will. <laughs> Better that. Sure <laughs> yeah, loved your horse. Yeah, what's, yeah, it's a what's shame that it like not get on there. Oh, oh it's double double Finley's N name. double N for Finlay. I okay. think. I think that's the problem. <laughs> To be fair, we are asking a horse to do <laughs> a man's job. Didn't study this. Doesn't even have a posable oh, thumb. Oh, no, so he's back. We're in, yeah. we're in. There but we what's go. this now? It just gives what's us a sec. And then go on the Safari or the Google. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> we'll see you out. We're getting there. Um, so I'm amazed. I'm always amazed whenever I speak to uh, Screen female show. comics and the amount of shit. Do, like, do you get... Like, I remember speaking to Tiffany no. Stevenson about it and screen show there. Sorry, mate. One <laughs> sec. On the on the Google thing. Yeah. So, no, get rid of that. <laughs> Fuck me. Fucking hell. Hey, I need a training. Screen for this. show there. You need six on your months right. To on your right. On keep going. Right. <laughs> keep going. Right. Keep going. Keep right. going. Keep right. going. Right. Yes. <laughs> okay. Right. This is first day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to be fair, this is first time here. Yeah. Sign, Sign in. in. <laughs> and then click the eye. Right. Sorry, Matt. As no, I'm were. just I'm amazed at the amount of weirdos that will contact female comics. Oh, like, um, yeah, it's mad. Like, like I had, I had a guy, um, like just keep calling me on Instagram after I'd been on like the other word special. So I think it was one of them, one of them guys. Um, and then well, I, incels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then another guy wanted me to FaceTime him and just watch him wanking. Like loads of stuff like that. Jesus. Yeah. Um, but it is true what you say. Like we put a clip up and you go, fucking hell, she's ugly. Blah, blah, blah. But you never see that on like uh, clips of podcasts where it's all males. Yeah, like it's just like, oh, these are knobheads or these yeah, are yeah, funny yeah. or nah, right, like, It's why, never why like this comes ugly. to an aesthetic standard? Yeah. Who are you? Yeah. yeah. What's, what, what's yeah, what you, we like look a like? Lot, a lot of them are compliments as well and that's, that's weird as well. Like, What do you mean? I don't mind. Like they comment on the <laughs> appearance just like, how nice they look and stuff yeah. like that. But it's yeah, it just like doesn't matter, does it? Like, yeah. why, you, why are you even going like, there, yeah? Female comics get that with even, like, reviewers who should know. 
Oh, really? Better. Oh, fuck yeah. I've seen so <sighs> many where people... Like Lauren Patterson was showing me one where... It li- literally, not respected reviewers because none of them are, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They, uh, they, they, were, they, they, they would comment on what she was wearing and how she looked that night as if to... It's like Northern. <laughs> it's like anyone from above the M25 yeah. will, at some point in a review, it will be where they're from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Northern Comet. It doesn't matter. Like, yeah, 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 it's just stupid, isn't it? Yeah, mad. Well, <laughs> got some more Patreon questions if you want one. Go ahead. So, the first one is from Craig Richardson. He got in early and said, Are you still a fan of Michael Bublé? Hey, <laughs> 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 uh, the boobs. Oh, God. Um, it's a two part. This is uh, because of the Have a Word thing. Oh, uh, underneath that as well, I don't know if this, if, if this is connected. It said, What's the one roast? Mark wishes had made the final cut of the Daniel Sloss roast. So I guess that's not connected. Oh, oh. I love the one where you was like summarizing why his um, specials Shows, are called yeah. what they're called. And yeah, it's like a jigsaw one because it's boring. It's boring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. Was yeah no, that was interesting. When Kai sent that back, uh, like there's a WhatsApp group for the stag do, and he sent it. They sent a, like the first cut of it. Yeah, I went. Does anyone want anything removed from this? And there was a whole bit that we just had to it had to get, get out rid yeah. of because yeah, yeah. it was. Look, well, Kai was saying there was a, there was some things about people who weren't in the room. That was the one, which yeah. is a bit sly yeah. because yes. they're not there to like rebuttal aye. and shit like aye, that. Aye, uh, where, that whereas it's it. funny in the room, but putting it out is yeah. like, oh, it's a bit mean, whatever. But it was incredible how nervous like Elliot was shitting himself, like yeah. Yeah. genuinely proper, like shaking beforehand. Why? I think because he was up first, and also. You never realised, I don't think it really hit us until we actually went up to do it, that you are just doing it to all of the comics that you really respect and love. Do you know what I mean? It's it's like the toughest audience you could Mm. possibly imagine. Because if you die in your arse at that, you're you're never hearing the end of it. So, yeah, yeah, it was Mm. nerve-wracking. Yeah, it's weird doing stuff in front of other comics, isn't it? Even just gigging when there's comics who you respect in the yeah. room. You're like, oh, I hope this goes well. Like, fucking... I mean, I found it, all, I found it all right because me and Kai, by that point, had been up for, I think, 63 hours. Yeah. <laughs> straight, just... As soon as we got to Vegas, we that just... Was that one, was yeah. it. Fucking three yeah. days straight, and then... It's right. And then there was a point, like, on the morning after the last... The third night, I was sitting in a burger place of my own in Vegas, and genuinely sitting there going, I've... I've damaged myself. <laughs> I, 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 I don't think I'm gonna myself. be. I don't think I'm ever gonna be the same again. <laughs> <after that sight. laughs> uh, Fucking hell! Do you do drugs uh, a lot, Mark? Not that much anymore. No. No. I used to. I used to. Yeah. yeah. I was never really. Check back there. I used to do drugs. I still do, but I used to. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, because because like music festivals are like my absolute. That's that's You're big my into happy, music, happy, happy, yeah. happy place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, but it was never, I've not, I've never been a huge fan of, I've never really been into like weed or anything at all. Mm. Pills yeah, back right. in the day were Uppers. fucking proper. Yeah. Like, Any psychedelics? I, I've done, uh, I've done DMT once. Ooh, DMT, yeah. yeah. How was that? Shit. Oh. <laughs> because, right, because, and I, I know a load of like, obviously. That was the most Scottish reaction to DMT yeah, ever. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this thing that like explodes uh, your consciousness and sp- like I heard someone say that it split me into a billion uh, atoms and shattered me across the universe you're like load of shit <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck says green cow <laughs> <laughs> um, no I did it uh, years ago at, uh, it was the guy who used to work the sound desk at the stand me and my pal Mikey went back to his for drinks after a gig one night and he was like Do you and I was like oh fuck it let's go for it yeah. and then I went to the toilet and the, the whole trip was, I lived an entire week of my life. Right, so I was sitting on his toilet and Just I lived... Just normal life, though? Literally, that's why it was so shit. That's how boring <laughs> okay. it was. I, I, fu- I slept in it. Yeah. I dreamt in that. Oh, so exactly. I went to sleep. I took, took the bins out at one point. I did gigs. Fuck I took the bins out on I your literally, I literally had a week of my life in 20 minutes. That's how fucking boring... <laughs> My oh DMT my trip Matt, was. <laughs> like, it wasn't even that good a week. It was yeah, just a yeah. standard fucking week. So like, I, sometimes I have dreams where, like, when I used to tattoo or whatever, or I don't know when the last time I had one really, but I'd have dreams where I sort of was was just getting up and going to work, and mm. then I'd wake up and feel like I hadn't slept. Yeah. Because my dream was yeah. just a normal day in my life. And I wonder what that is. Like, you have to go and do it. 
Uh, yeah, and then you just go, oh, I feel knackered. And then yeah. you dream, you're like, oh, I've, I've done another shift <laughs> yeah, yeah, in my yeah, sleep. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. So it's, it's weird that that can happen sometimes. But the fact that you had like a whole week as a trip oh, is was, mad. It was... But I mean, it felt really weird afterwards, yeah, yeah. like yeah, proper, surprised, proper. Yeah. Does it sound a, shit though? Oh, it was fucking awful, like <laughs> proper shit. Like if it had been, a, if it had been, I'd have loved a week if it was a, an amazing, yeah, week. Yeah, like float like to I Vegas. Like I do the Vegas week shit. again. Yeah, yeah, I'd yeah. quite happily relive that again. Yeah, I'm definitely. Just a regular. Putting the bins out. That's shocking. Have you enough. ever, have you ever had a dream where you've been gigging and you've been absolutely ripping it, and then uh, furious when you wake up because you don't can't think remember any of the material? A dream, gigging really. Um, I always die in mine. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's where my psychology yes. must be at. <laughs> Never ripped it in a dream. Not even in your dreams. <laughs> I can't even be good there. No, I had one really realistic dream where cause you know sometimes when you have a fight in a dream, you mm. can't punch or anything mm. properly. Oh, yeah. Can you? It feels mad. I had a dream where I was scrapping someone and I was proper like punching his head in um, in Amsterdam, and then like. All my mates were like, "Oh, we're flying back tonight," and I was like, "Oh, I'm flying back tomorrow, so I'll see you." Back at home or whatever. And I was like, ah, oh, chilling. I've got like a little day in Amsterdam to myself and that. And I like, I'll go for a nap. And then I woke up and, and then I turned over and I was in my bedroom at home. And I was like, nah, I was well in Amsterdam. Like I thought oh, I was in Amsterdam. Wow. And I woke up at home and I was fucking gutted because yeah. I was like, <laughs> not in Amsterdam. Yeah. Because of, Just because the, of the guy scrap. Li- guy lying beside you, you kicked the shit out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just my mum. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was like, it was the first, uh, like the only time I've ever had a, a fight in a dream where it's like, felt like it was proper, yeah. like scrapping rather than going <sighs> <laughs> through water and, and it's horrible. Yeah. I hate have, that Have feeling. you had the opposite where you've woke up and been like, oh, thank fuck that wasn't right. Oh yeah, loads. Yeah. I don't yeah. have nightmares anymore though. Oh, that's good. Because I realise that it's a nightmare. My brain goes, "This isn't. This can't happen." Aye. And then I wake up. It's weird. Gareth Wall gets night terrors. Ah, oh, fuck that. Really? That's proper terrifying. He's telling me about it. Like that's proper. Like what happens? It's like sleep paralysis. He's, uh, he's, he's pro- oh. like he can't move. He feels yeah. like he's being tied out of the bed, and then mm-hmm. there's like this fucking demon running about the bottom of the bed. Yeah. <laughs> no. no I had I had that for a bit when we moved to Australia, but it's gone now. It must be to do with. I wonder what that yes, is. Stress or yeah. something. My husband's got that because we went to a wedding recently. I didn't realise he had it. And he just, you just hear him screaming at 4 a.m. Jeez. in the morning. Just <laughs> oh, God. I'm sure they weren't shagging. <laughs> I'm sure they weren't oh, shagging. Oh. <laughs> night sir. They told me it was night sir, as my heart. It's been murder. Oh, I'm shoving. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> 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 now nah, you've got night terrors. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I, on my twenty three of May, it tells me like my so I am a deeper sleeper than most people, mm. and that my like brain waves are like really deep or something. So yeah, I could deep fall asleep on a washing line, mate. Eh? Mm. I hate that. I wish I could do that. You're a really light sleeper. Yeah, he shit. also doesn't have tattoos in his dreams. That's what it is. Wow, mm. that's mental. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's like your brain just can't kind of fill in that much detail, maybe, or something. Shit, yeah. God, I didn't even thought of that. And then that'll sort of wake me up, because yeah. I'll go, well, that's weird. Oh, I'm awake. <laughs> that's you know how I mean? people lucid dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he can so control yeah. his dreams, yeah. but I'm, like, gone. I can't, no, I can get to the point where my, my problem is I go, oh, I'm in a dream, and then wake up. I never yeah, go, oh, I'm in a dream, problem. and stay in the dream. Mm. That's the yeah. problem. The horse's dream? Uh, <laughs> yeah, just of meadows hay. and hay. Yeah, Mad. and they wake up screaming as well. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what about those dreams though? There's, there's like certain um, symbols that you can see to know that you're dreaming. So that must be one of them. Yeah, yeah, no the tattoos. The, there's no time. So if you ever see a clock in a dream, Do you, you know what my like, my my dreams can be quite stressful sometimes. Like you know where say you've got to get to a gig. Mm. And you go, oh, the address is here, and you go sound, and mm. then you're trying to put that address into your maps. But for sometimes, every time you paste it, it's the wrong letters or something. You go, what the fuck? And then you're, are you driving? You go, where's that? I can't read the street signs properly. Right, yeah. It's like pure anxiety. It's like trying I don't know to what run it is. Like, and you can't. Yeah, I get that all the time. Uh, Constantly. Awful. What is that? Is that like anxiety? Twice yeah. a week, I, I get Must that. Must be something, yeah. 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 I get that, and I get one where I'm back at university. Oh, yeah. But I'm, I haven't done anything to study at all and it's still coming like I get that about twice a week now as oh, well oh really yeah <laughs> but I have things I where it's like you look at my horse exam <laughs> 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 what did you what did you do at uni know? did you go to uni uh, I started doing film studies oh, at okay. the start and then I got kicked off the course after a year oh uh, why 
because it was shit. Okay. Like it was. It was just, just not doing the way. Really <laughs> I wasn't turning up, and yeah, but it was really because yeah. the first week, the first week, you, you, it was cool because the lectures were in a cinema, mm. Mm. and uh, the first week we did. Batman, the Tim Burton Batman. Oh yeah, so I done that like, in music. Yeah, ah, yeah, it's a, it's a class yeah, 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 it's a soundtrack as well. Yeah, uh, but and I was like, this is this is proper good discourse. Mm. And then you start to get into like the more experimental, wanky, the shy films. And then and I was that. just like, this <laughs> yeah. is prote- This is really pretentious. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, you're big into films and that as well, yeah. aren't you? Like yeah. films, music, and all that. Mm. Yeah. We've What's m- your favorite film? Jaws. Jaws. Yeah, for, I think I've seen you. Jack. Mentioned that somewhere. Jack. Uh, with my unit, it got because this was like kicking off mm. during my time at unit. Um, it, it I got to a point where I just wasn't interested. Yeah, I just wanted to do this. So every brief they give me, I would somehow make it about drugs. <laughs> like yeah. it wouldn't be anything to do with drugs, and I'd be like, "Here's a campaign for drugs." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and I was try- I was like, "Can I make it to the end without getting kicked out?" Yeah, and I did. So. Good. That's what I did on my master's when I got there. I said, I studied film and I said, I'm not going to, I just want to use the equipment. I'm going to make a film in this year. And yeah. you're like, yeah, sound cool. See, yeah. that's what I, that's what yeah, I was yeah. going for. Initially, yeah. that's what I thought it was going to be. And then, well, it's film studies. You have to like analyze the <laughs> curtains. and. The, there was a point because it was yeah. film and TV studies. And then there was one class I remember where we'd been watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yeah. And the guy that was lecturing was trying to tell us that the reason that Buffy uses stakes on the vampires is because it's a phallic symbol and it's her wishing she had a penis. And it kind of goes, no, it's how you kill vampires. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Like, it does not, yeah, there's nothing in this at all. Like, okay, it's now, mate, that's yeah. <laughs> that's just trying to add, add uh, is, context just, uh, to something for no reason, innit? Yeah. So did you want to do, make films? I wanted to write films. That was write initially films. more what oh, I wanted okay. to do. When I was Have you wrote any, that. like, sketches or any shit not like really, that? Not really, man. No, nah, no. I've never started. I'd only do... Stand up, really. Yeah. I've, 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 I've tried to write sketches, but mm. it's just not something I've got in my brain. I right, don't, okay. I don't get the... I don't have the, the skills to be able to yeah. do something funny. Like when you watch, like... like Because I think, like, like Josh Pugh. Yeah. Mm. Like, I've, I've said to this to Josh, like, how he comes up with it, shit, like, it genuinely blows yeah. my mind. Yeah, it's all mad little sketches. things as well. As original how sketches are. They're, like, nothing you've ever, ever seen. Yeah. Or even would imagine before. Yeah, it's always like, oh, girlfriend's fella who's like yeah. on holiday or some shit and just like dead niche little yeah. things. There was one There was one he did that I was fucking howling at and it was uh, a bloke who sees his girlfriend getting chatted up but he's on a bucking bronco. <laughs> right, and it's him, just, it's him just going like that and he's going, all right, do you know him? Do you know him? Who, who's that? It's like, like, it's just so fucking funny. And I'm yeah, like, how so did you come up with that? that? Like, yeah, <laughs> mad. He's class, Josh. Pooh. Don't try and get him on here, man. Like, he's, he's boss. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I want us to do some sketches and that. Yeah, I had some ideas for sketches. I think it'd be, be fun to do. Yeah. I, I, I had an idea for a sketch that I turned into stand-up, which worked in stand-up. But Aye. the original idea for it, I was like, oh, this would be a funny sketch. Yeah. Like a fella, um, you know, like caricature artist drawing someone. And then, like, they're doing all like that with his thumb because, like, doing perspective and all that. And then he gives the picture, and it's just a big thumb <laughs> <laughs> with, like, with, like, their hair That's cut. Class, yeah. And then, and then he puts the picture down. The guy's like putting all his brushes away and running <laughs> off. But I drew me, like, my hair and all that with a big thumb in front of it, and like showed it in stand up, and it works that way as well. Yeah. But the idea come from a sketch because just the idea of like the artist like putting the thing up and the the picture being full screen. And then yeah. putting it down and behind the picture, that's just really like putting all this yeah. stuff away and running away like that. That's really funny. Yeah, yeah. That, so that but that works for stand up though. It was weird. Yeah. Yeah. We've had a few like ideas, haven't we? Show a bit, a bit yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Have you got a favourite genre of film? Oof, that's a good question. Um, We've been on the Jaws set, haven't we? Oh, have you? In in, in L.A. No, oh, no, on the the back lot of the the film studio. Yeah. yeah. Um, there was like the like the boat yard kind yeah. of thing, and then they had the big mechanical shark, and it come oh, out at you and fucking that, and aye, aye, aye. explosions and all aye, shit it's like class, that. It's like cool. It's yeah. great when you're on edibles. Oh fuck! <laughs> Joe's ride in Florida was mad, as well. We uh, <laughs> when we were in Vegas, um, we went to see a. Uh, uh, the, where we were sitting, we were staying was the Excalibur, mm. which is like it's based around like a king, king, king Arthur's castle. Yeah. Mm. So I mean, it's, uh, it, it, I mean, it's shit, but I, I quite enjoyed it. And there's a thing you can go to called the Tournament of Kings, right? 
and you, oh, you it's like a medieval. It's a medieval oh, yeah. battle, but it's, it's like the... real horses and yeah, shit yeah. Yeah. riding at you. Do proper jousting yeah. and that, don't they? They used yeah, to do with a camel. Yeah, sword fighting. So many job opportunities. Fucking bronco for Josh. <laughs> but uh, we we took mushrooms before that oh. that night. Oh. Jesus Christ, yeah. it was uh, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, like, sounds of amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's like everything's better than mushrooms. <laughs> it is. Scotland's isn't it? amazing for mushrooms. Is it? Or they grow what like wild, actual wild like foraging, like yeah. organic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we want to move there. That's why we're going. Join us, Mark. <laughs> Join the show. So would you know oh, wait, if you went out? Would you know which ones were? Yeah, yeah. we only safe to pick and which. Yeah, yeah. Aye. Yeah. So once you know what you're looking for, you won't pick anything else. Oh really? It's so distinguished from every and it, other one. It's something I don't know if the spores get up your nose or something, but they like it's proper primal, isn't it? You make like you it. can't not pick them. They're like Oh really? Aye. Yeah, yeah. You've yeah. got so loads they're enticing you, <laughs> like fuck. <laughs> 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 so you've got loads and then you're still like, There's one there that I need more. <laughs> yeah, like, it's there'll weird. be people coming and you're like, Don't pick it for a minute and you're like, I can't. Like, and then what will you do? So you'll bring them back and then what will you do with them? Dry them. Dry them out and then just turn them. Store them. Yeah, but put them in a tea, scram them. Amy makes for microdosing oh, cool. and stuff like that. So yeah. like the other day, I had four pills. It's like maybe a gram. Aye. And you sort of, no visuals just or nothing, but it just felt dead Aye, elevated. Did, I remember Paul Smith talking talk about this, actually. He was yeah. doing yeah, he it was, with LSD. Yeah, yeah. It's similar. It's like the compounds like, in it. Like the, the scientifically proven to help with anxiety, depression. Oh, PTSD. yeah. I, I've proper looked into it with like, depression. Like, mm. so yeah. It's like, but the... Because he was telling me about the microdosing, and then uh, I know Milo had kind of looked into it as well. Yeah. Yeah. And then I was telling my pal in Edinburgh about it. And he went, I did that uh, one uh, one festival, one fringe. And I was like, all right. And he was like, yeah, I was microdosing Coke. And I was like, I don't think that's really <laughs> microdosing. It. But I was having a line when I got up, and I was like, no, that's just a drug habit. That's not, you're not, you're not <laughs> microdosing <laughs> anything. You're just taking Coke in the morning. Yeah, you're just having a line. Yeah, what's <laughs> yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Just microdose and vodka. Yeah. Just wake up and have a shot in the morning. Yeah. That's What's your favourite drug? Have I asked you that? No. Have I asked you that before? No. Uh, I probably coke. Coke, yeah. yeah. I've never had coke. Big fan. <laughs> I've had it, but I, I've never really like been that asked with it. My mates were always proper into it, and I, I've always said that I only ever had it like two or three times, and it was just when like. The first time I had it was like, everyone's having it, I have a line. Yeah. And, and then I had it at like eight o'clock before we went out. Aye. And I didn't sleep. It was horrible. Yeah, oh, no, it's But I was also like drinking vodka Red Bulls yeah, and that uh, as well. Oh, Jesus Christ. I was just lying in a bed going, cocaine's awful. Like, what? Is that why you didn't like it? Because it kept you up? Yeah, and then the other times, I didn't really feel anything from it. I just used to have a little bump to knock some ale off me. Aye. Because everyone, be yeah, aye, everyone aye. would be out drinking and I'd be twatted and I'd go, here's a little bit of yeah. that. And I'd go, what do you like Party. about it? Like, why, why is it your favourite? I don't know, just like, because I'm quite, like, even though I'm, like, on stage and stuff, I'm quite a kind of reserved, shy kind of person, particularly mm. in a big group, and it just yeah. kind of mm. gives you that... You it's like a, it's like it's like having a, a, a pint. Yeah. It just yeah. gives you that extra kind of... Did you not feel like mushrooms do that as well? Um, I suppose I, but then... Depends how far you go yeah, with exactly, mushrooms, yeah. though, innit? Like, I mean, I do say, like, I, I would say, I'd said Coke, like, proper ecstasy, like, mm. not MDMA, like, actual, yeah. some of the some of the festivals I've had on that have been awesome. Like, yeah. mm. watching The Prodigy live on ecstasy wow. is something yeah. else, like, it's, uh, yeah. That would be boss. Yeah, it must have been wild. Right, Cameron though. sent me a video the other day because we gave him some edibles and he was just stuck on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I couldn't move. Yeah, my first my first time having edibles and I was just on the toilet thinking this is the funniest thing in the world. Yeah. So then I was making notes on my phone to not forget how funny it was that yeah. I was stuck on the toilet laughing at myself. <laughs> and then I was like, I need to video it because it must like, be hilarious. <laughs> so then I was just vid- f- selfie. And then because I was looking at myself laughing, I just couldn't move. I was just <laughs> dying laughing yeah. on the toilet. It was, it was fascinating when, when we were over in America because Danny and Kai had told me about this, that because they've got like the dispensaries there. Yeah. He was like, it, it, like the, he was saying, like the, you go, the guys, you can go in there and a guy will like curate your entire oh, yeah, night definitely. for you. But yeah, like, yeah. what are you planning for this? He's like, we've got ones here. Are you plan to watch not any documentaries, but we've got this. Mm. Or you just want to laugh with your pals? You've got this. You know, you yeah, it's all like, different like, strains I'd and take stuff in it. Yeah. Every time. Oh fuck yeah, yeah. 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 So, so that's funny. the problem. Whereas over here, it's just like, what have you got? It's like this, <laughs> this one weed, and you go, well, let's see how strong this is yeah. or how like weak this is. 
Green Angel, they only use um, what is it orange sherbet? Orange sherbet, sherbet but yeah. Yeah, so they only use one strain, but they, right. they put it in all different things. Right. Yeah, and you know, so beggars funny. can't be choosers. <laughs> so funny though. What, I, the, what, I can't you believe you? what it does to your brain. I've <laughs> never done anything like that before. I was just like, wow. <laughs> like edibles. <laughs> edibles can be proper, like psychoactive. Like we had a proper strong edible trip one time. And it was like borderline mushroom Aye. trip. Like shit was waving and all that. And yeah. I was like, how's this just weird, man? Like I was fucking freaking out. I was watching that. Moana. And I, <laughs> and I was like... <laughs> They're real, and I was freaking out. I was like, Emma, they look real. They look like real people. They're not like animation. <laughs> yeah, I can see her face, and she's got a real face. You literally could have picked a better film to pick. <laughs> like, like, that's absolutely classic. No, but then it got to, I had to stop watching Moana because it got well too... It got like, too real. Yeah. yeah, it got too real. That's funny, that. So you've got kids. Yeah, two kids, yeah. yeah. So do you watch a lot of kids' like films and that? Yeah. What would oh, you say the best Disney? kids film is? Kid, oh, fuck. Tangled. That's a, that's a good question. Tangled is good. Tangled Moana is good. Moana yeah. is good. I've yeah. never, until now, I've never felt more connected to a horse than Maximus <laughs> in Tangled. <laughs> until <laughs> now. Every episode. <laughs> the Super Mario film was good. Oh, was it? Yeah. I really enjoyed it. that. Like, good, yeah. That was really good. Yeah, man, it's good. Jack Black's bows. Yeah. Here, so that's always Because you, oh. you can watch it, like, because they, wa- they watched it because they, like, play Mario Kart on the Switch. And yours is a bit and, more and nostalgic as well. But they do so many wee nods like you'll hear wee tunes every now and again yeah. and they're like oh fuck of yeah, course that's yeah, yeah. like yeah, that's when they cool. go to the ghost castle yeah. and like it's like yeah, yeah right, right. Yeah. oh that's sick um i've been in the pictures for ages what man. if if you could be in a film would you would you like acting out no i'm a terrible actor okay well you Genuinely have to be in a film actor. for this question it's gonna be jaws isn't it Oh, okay. Nah, I think I, I think I'd oh. go gangster film. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Like, proper yeah. Oh, old nice. school. Like, Goodfellas yeah. or something. Goodfellas I'd, nah, I'd go even there. I'd go 70s. Yeah. Like 70s American cinema. I don't know cinema, any films like, back then. Yeah. Godfather kind of shit. Oh, like, right, okay. I love yeah. that, man. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Shoot someone in the knee. Although I've, I've, I've got a bizarre obsession with like uh, 50s America as well. Oh, yeah. Like Sinatra and stuff like that. Okay. So I, I'd go that. I'd go like a rap pack Guys and film. Guys Nah, not that. <laughs> I'd love to see not that. A woman. <laughs> <laughs> not a woman. Not a woman. I'm just got excited yeah. about musicals. Like, <laughs> shot straight down. <laughs> uh, just because there's a horse racing bit. <laughs> oh, is there? <laughs> Isn't there a horse film where they don't speak? War horse. War horse. Oh, oh, oh. no. Oh. They don't speak. What, just horses? Sp- spit it or something. Google. Spit it. Horse film. What's your favourite horse? Uh, oh, of all time. Sure, yeah. Oh, I wish I would have pre- prepped this. Like it can be <laughs> an actual horse or a fictional horse. It'd be Maximus for me from Tangled. Yeah. The one... Uh, I don't know many horses, actually. Google famous it. horses. It was Spirit. Is, well, Spirit. Hercules? Oh, no. Hercules had a fucking Pegasus, didn't he? Ah, yes. That's still a horse. That was a sound Flying horse. horse that, yeah, that's yeah. arguably the that's best class. class yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. i go for him, Oh, yeah. None of the, none of the animals speak in... In spirit, it's a full film and no one speaks. Yeah, there's so, so people not do horses. speak, but it's not on, none of the animals. Oh, okay, okay. Just one person. Oh, that makes sense then. Like just like real life. Yeah, <laughs> I was cast as a wild horse, so I had to watch a lot of wild horses run <laughs> about. Yeah. Mustang, most iconic horse. What is it? It's the Barclays advert. Is that the oh, Lloyd's? Yeah. The, old, the right. old Guinness advert. Remember with the, yeah, the horses in the sea on the waves. On the wave. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that was, was class. On, on, on a horse. horse. <laughs> old Spice, yeah, on a horse. Yeah, you're on a horse. All with the horses that your man could smell like. Sea Biscuit is the. There was oh, a yeah. film of Sea Biscuit. Black Beauty. Oh, Black Beauty. Classic. That's what Red Rum. Horses. Yeah. They kill a horse in the Godfather. Oh, yeah. Put oh, it yeah. In. Oh, put it in the guy's yeah. bed. They chop his head off. And I should just bed, put yeah. me in all the films <laughs> of the horse. Let me just be in the side of the Godfather like this. That'd be great. Superimpose me into yeah. it. Yeah, that'd uh, be great. We were talking yeah. about substances. This is like maybe going to be less of a fun story because you've, you've spoke about ecstasy. But Paddy O on the Patreon has said, have you got a favourite Buckfast-based story? <laughs> <laughs> I've only drunk Buckfast, like... Maybe four times in my life. Why is he asked that? Yeah. It's Buckfast like a proper... It's a Scottish drink. It's oh, a Scottish it? drink. It's a... I had it for the first time recently as well. It's all right. Yeah, yeah. But it's... That's another one where I was like, this is class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's got caffeine, caffeine in it, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a tonic it's wine. It's got caffeine in it. Yeah. 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 Like ridiculous amounts like of caffeine, caffeine in it. Like I thought wine. it was orange juice. 
No, that's Box Fizz. That's Box Fizz. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <You're Okay. not. laughs> Christmas morning on the yeah. Box Fizz. That's Orange and Champagne well. or whatever. So, so Box Fizz. Box Fizz, so, it, so it's a wine, but it's like a sweet wine that's made by these With caffeine in it. By monks. They, 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 uh, it's Buckfast Abbey. I think it's, it's it's in England somewhere. Oh really? But for yeah. some reason, in Scotland, it, it's yeah. like pro, it's like massive. Bottle of Bucky. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And it's it tastes when I the fir- very Bongo first time. Johnny loves it. Yeah. Oh, I'm mad. It? Yeah. Mad for it. The first That's what time made I, Tony Carroll spew it all over the fucking oh. studio. Have you seen that? Yeah. When he when he spewed it, yeah. he came on our live show <laughs> ten minutes after that happened. It's strong <laughs> as fuck. Like, yeah. yeah. And it makes you like. Proper mental. Yeah, mm. I was like, buzzing off it. Yeah. yeah, I've never had it, me. Yeah, never it's nice. tried it. Yeah, the gay, when I first the very f- the first weekend I headlined the uh, comedy store in Manchester, the staff yeah bought me a bottle. Like uh, when I went backstage, there was a bottle gift wrap. Is that like the stereotypes? Book fast iron brew. Break fast iron brew. Yeah. Heroin. Yeah. Heroin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that in the green room. <laughs> the holy trilogy. That's the big four. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so have you got no Buckfast tales then? Nah, I've not drunk not it really. enough. No, no. Nah, I don't Tell us about I've... Scotland. What do you want to know? Anything. Anything? Yeah, what's your favourite fact Very about Scotland? Very open-ended question. I just really, I just love Scotland. Favourite fact about Scotland. Have you ever been up to, like, Loch Ness and You've stuff like that? have been to Tongue. been to Tongue right been to at tongue? the top. Yeah. Oh, aye. Yeah. That's a fucking long way away. Like. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Like nine hours all? from, like, yeah. Edinburgh or something. No. <laughs> So nine hours from <laughs> us. Like it. It's about f- six hours, four, four hours from Edinburgh. From yeah. it felt like yeah. Do you know what our national animal is? No. Unicorn. unicorn. It's the unicorn. How is it? Because th- do you know why? Because England's is a lion, and apparently a li- and a yes. unicorn is the actual like worst enemy of oh. a lion. Oh. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. is that why we hate each other? <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's why. Apparently they just went, yeah, we hate you, and what what fucking kills lions? You fucking unicorn. That's fucking. Why is England a lion? Cause it's not like yeah. it's not you don't it's not like you used to see lions. I mean, you might have about England a lot. Well, I don't know. We did, we did have like wild cats and that, didn't yeah. we? Ages ago, and people would have brought lions over because they just fucking brought. It's just the most over, narcissistic they? animal, isn't it? That's yeah. why. It's yeah. the most ferocious. Have you ever heard that chain? story about uh, Pablo Escobar, where he uh, he had the in Colombia, he had like this. He basically he basically bought a town mm. where he, he kept his compound and stuff, and he really he really wanted a a hippo. Yeah, but the hippos weren't indigenous to Colombia, so he got two hippos shipped over. Yeah, and uh, they mated and had baby hippos, and oh. now this town there's a town in Colombia that's just inhabited by hippos. Oh, <laughs> that's amazing! Because he, he moved like what? when he when like like the feds turned up, he just fucked off. And the hippos, but the hippos just left, still so there. the hippos just rule this. And the ruthless like. as well, like <laughs> fucking scary <laughs> hippos. Like yeah. Do you know what hippopotamus stand means? Uh, river horse. River horse. Oh, come on. Oh. We're back to horses. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're a computer horse. But it's mad, like, <laughs> e- e- even, uh, like, in Texas, apparently, like, fucking so stupid, like, 90% of the world's population are tag or big cats are in Texas. No. Yeah, and people just own them. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, yeah. But Google, like, about how many tigers how many are in tigers? Texas. Is that where the Tiger King guy was from? Yeah, yeah, yeah oh, all yeah. that type of shit. So the, all these big rich people have got, like, massive compounds and that, and they have fucking big wild cats. And I'm pretty sure it's sort of mad, like, 80, 90% of the world's population That's of big cats Jesus. live in Texas. How do you feel about pets? They're not even native there. See, I, I, we, we would love a pet. Yeah. Well, I would love a pet. The two kids would love a pet. My what wife. Kind of pet? I think my wife realizes because I'm away most weekends, she'd get left with it. Yeah. Yeah, right. Mm. But I, I'd love to sit. But it is, I mean, it is a. Do you? You, you have got a dog, yeah. We've got two, two dogs. Two dogs. dogs. Um, the the guy who painted that picture up there apparently is the next bank says so we've moved All to right. Dubai, and we've got his dogs. Oh, nice. Our life's very not normal anymore. <laughs> what are they called? Uh, Dave. Dolly and Dave. <laughs> and Dolly. <laughs> Nightmare having a dog called Dave. Dave, you know? he's such a good boy, I love him. <laughs> so many Daves in St. Helens as well. Yeah. yeah. In the park. Yeah, Turning we've out. started letting him off his lead now when he's proper chuffed. He's like, really he's sure. He runs and he looks back at you going, Dave in a park. You know, yeah, I know. Yeah. I started writing stand-up about it. Um, <laughs> oh, did you yeah. find out that you fact? Like 2,000 a... to 5,000 tigers reside in Texas or something. That's mad. But it doesn't say the percentage, though. Okay. Right, okay. But it is a mad, but it's it says, a mad It says stat. it's a huge, but it's, 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 a, a, it's a big... Part of the percentage of the pet, world, like a parrot that you can just take with you on stage, It'll be on your shoulder. That's Train so it much effort laugh. bringing a parrot on, on the road. Switching my 
online, my, my stage persona. <laughs> 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 hey, if you had Mark Nelson start to bring in a parrot on stage, Nelson's doing parrot <laughs> stuff. Are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> it would be, you know, it would be class to do it. To just yeah. like if you if I did an entire <laughs> festival run where every night I come out with a parrot and yeah. just never mentioned it, I love just that. never drew attention yeah, yeah. to it. I love yeah. stuff like that. Oh. That'd be a good Edinburgh show, wouldn't it? Where you just go on and do something that you don't do. The most is the yeah. stuff like that. Maybe, Aye. yeah. There's got to be. Even today, I was like, "Let's all put lipstick on and just not address it <laughs> for this episode." Hat on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just I, I like. And stuff that was like for that. no reason as well. <laughs> yeah. Struggling yeah. drinking that. Yeah, I'm a horse. It's not great. Do you want a, do you want a beer or something? <laughs> no, a, a beer would be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's a mar- there's Moretti's there. in the it's fridge. Oh God, God. Do no, no. For do you want a Moretti or something? Oh, that'd be close. Sounds right. I need a little way. I need a way as well, so we have a little two minutes and then we'll come back. See you in a minute. Hello. Ooh. That was quick. <laughs> Didn't even give me a chance to sit back in my seat. No, oh, because you need to be on the edge of your seat for this, Dean. Ooh, uh, what is it, Amy? It's a Manscaped ad. Oy. If you want your penis to look as smooth and large as this one, use Manscaped. They do say shaving adds an extra inch, doesn't it? Yeah. So, you know, you just could look like that whopper. That is... Uh, it's too big of anything, isn't it? But it looks nice and smooth, like it used uh, the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0, which you can see here. On. What's oh. this? Uh, ball toner. He's definitely used that. Look yeah, look at them. There's some tone taught. balls there. Them what does taught. it do? I'll give you a live demonstration, guys. Um, it tones your balls like that. It's a deodorant, isn't it? That smells so nice. I'm more inclined to lick these balls now. Yeah. Because it smells so nice. If you want women to lick your balls... Have a little freshen up during the day. Have, You're going on a date. Have a on the crop revival. You can, you can pop that in your pocket and give yourself a little spritz in the bathroom. Advanced groin care. Um, so this is in the, the Ultimate Package. I can't remember what it's called. Ultimate Package 4.0 or something. You know what have you're looking look for. Go on the website. You get a, you get the, the Manscaped um, Lawnmower 4.0. It's a nifty little bit of kit. Uh, it's very lightweight, waterproof. It's got a little light on it. You see that? A little torch Listen, so you can see everyone, what you're doing to get involved. Everyone knows a man. And men are hurry yeah. most of the time, unless they've got alopecia or something. Yeah. Um, so the weed whacker comes in handy for all men. Noses. Nose her. Ears. Ear her. Toes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, get it for your dad. Get it for your... Neighbor, brother, boyfriend, brother. uncle, uh, granddad. Not, like, obviously, getting getting your dad's ball torn is a bit weird. You get you save that for your lover. Yeah. But the weed whacker. No. You want your dick to look like this out? big old dick here? Get on the Manscaped. Uh, use code TMHT20 for 20% off and free shipping. Um, yeah, get on there. Get the package. You get some uh, crop reserver, which is ball deodorant. Get out the shower, whack that on. That's Anti-chafing, mad. you know. That's necessary. Balls are always chafing in these hot summers. Um, get on it. Help support the podcast and that. Your balls will thank you, so they say. So they say. Trim it up. Hot boy summer. I'm just saying, girls go to so much effort. Yeah. Guys, it's your time. If you want your missus to suck it off more, trim it up down there. No one wants to go and play out in an overran garden, do they? It's just sound quite fun. Not, no, no, not, in, we, not in terms of penis. Scraggly thorn bushes all over the place. You want a nice, nice clear playing field, don't you? With my penises, yeah. 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 So get on manscaped.com. Use the code TMHC20. 20% off, free shipping. With the ball, ball reserver, the crop reserver, the reserver. lawnmower 4.0. Reserver? Weed whacker, yeah. One of them's called a, a preserver. Preserver. Crop preserver. Ball deodorant. Freshening spray. Reviver. Weed whacker. There's even there's, <gasps> they've got the, the underpants, comfiest underpants. The underpants are out of this world. It, all comes, it also comes with a, a nice travel bag if you buy the kit. I use that little travel bag all the time when I'm going to my gigs and that. I wear the underpants. I've stole Dean's underpants because they're, they're so very, comfortable. very comfortable. I all that's available. That, that's a genuine... I'm not... That, this isn't even an advert, this bit. I'm telling you, get them undies. But it is still an advert, TMHC20. Um, use that code, it 20% off. Advert. Worldwide shipping, <laughs> free shipping. Uh, it's been a very long advert, so yeah. we're going to go now. Bye. Back to the episode, love yous. <laughs> See ya. Feel super
Tell me when. When? Uh, seaweed blend. Made in the UK, a seaweed blend is an alkalizing, cleansing, detoxification and daily nourishment formula which combines the best of nutrient-dense foods from both the sea and soil. This iodine-rich supplement is high in a broad spectrum of protective nutrients including antioxidants, photochemicals, polyphenols, polyphenols, enzymes, amino acids, vitamins and minerals, cognitive and thyroid thyroid function. Uh, metabolism, collagen formation, healthy hair, skin and nails, daily multivitamin. Whoa, that sounds That's awesome. That's just one of the things That's, Feel Supreme it's sell. Got, it's got chlorella, spirulina, KSM66 and ashwagandha in there. Bloody hell, mate. Who doesn't want some of that in the morning? It's got artichoke powder. Uh, it's got iodine, which is <coughs> also treatment for radiation. There you go. Uh, yeah. Which I and that isn't in here. I just knew that. Um, also, cayenne powder, spicy. So if you want to, you know, feel better because you've had all them, go buy some with the code TMHC fifteen. Fifteen. You do loads wow. of stuff. It's not just that seaweed blend. Don't you get one. all sorts. No, they take too long. Um, it's informative. <laughs> no, what, what have we got here? Go through these quick. Okay. Lion's mane. Turkey tail. We have that in our coffee every morning. Lion's mane every morning. Go uh, for your brain and digestive system. Having, for Stop do- talking at the same time. <laughs> go on. No. I was talking you, though. No, you go on then. We'll pass that then. I've been having this. Fedosia agre- agrestis with Tonkat Ali. It's a natural testosterone supplement. Uh, it makes your balls bigger. Um, makes me more... What's the word I'm looking for? Horny. Confrontational. Um, Told a postman I'm not taking a parcel for next door. (laughs) I told a man in the park to put his dog back on his lead. All because of this. Um, It's good for you. More energy. I feel like I've had well more energy since I've started taking them in the gym and that. Um, We also have cordyceps mushrooms, which are good for your lungs. Chinese use it to win the Olympics. Not a lie. Sounds like a lie, but it's not. Um, what else have we got? 5-HTP, natural antidepressants. Good for, um, what is it called? Depression. Oh, the uh, cortisol and dopamine. It's, it's serotonin in a bottle. Serotonin, that was the one I was looking for. Serotonin in a bottle. Yeah. Really good. I have these. And look how happy I am. Well happy. <laughs> uh, what I, mushroom I've been really happier since I've been taking them. Uh, and that might have just be coinciding with no it's not I do this for a living but I I do feel better yeah Um, Yeah, so do I it makes you feel supreme that's the point and you can feel supreme with 15% off by using the code TMHC15 Um, and support local business support local podcasts I'll do another live demonstration because you know I love to this is CBG not even CBD what is what is it it's a Broad spectrum, CBG nano mist. Would you hear that, by the way? CBG elicits its therapeutic effects directly through interaction with both CB1 and CB2 cannabinoid receptors in the brain. CBG is similar to CBD in terms of its health effects, but research indicates that it may have the following benefits. Antibacterial agents, anti-inflammatory pop, uh, properties, boosts anandamide, whatever that is. I need to uh, see that. Decreases GABA intake and can help stimulate new brain cells. Do you want new brain cells? Yeah. What can spray that in your gob? Any other like budding podcasts who are wondering, how do they do all this? It's because we feel supreme every day. It is. And you can feel supreme too, fifteen percent off. Feelsupreme.co.uk. Use code TMHC15. Getting back to the episode now. Love this. Love you. Bye. Bye. Back. Hello. Yes. Again. Uh, so we'll do our staple questions straight in there. Awkward sex stories. Are you straight re- in. <laughs> right. Oh. Yeah. Um. I, so I was thinking about this. Right. No, it's not even. I don't know if this is awkward. It's awkward after the sex. Okay. Does that count? Yeah. Right. So when when we me and my pals used to go uh, on lads' holidays. Right. Fucking proper like. Where was the best place you went? Uh, Malia in Greece. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That was class. And that was when that was when like I think that was even before the Euro. 
Isn't it, yeah. it's such a fall from grace like what Greece used to be? Yeah, yeah. What it is now. It used to be fucking... It was oh, it was the epicentre of, like... Science and <laughs> philosophy. Oh, you're going way back. Yeah. No, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's talking like no, a fucking I'm, 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 I'm talking about the classic yeah. Yeah. early 2000s. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're talking about like fucking <laughs> BC or something there. You're talking Aristotle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> I was Mad. just agreeing with you. I was like, you're yeah, fucking yeah. right. It was. It's yeah. a good ecstasy there. Right? Yeah. <laughs> fucking hell. Yeah, we because we had a we had, we we we'd worked out where there was a bar, I think it was called like it was the old shit names like Cloud Bar or something. Right, like that. yeah. And you would go there and you would get you could get a if you bought a beer, you'd get a free cocktail with it. So we would get deal, eh? uh, aye, so we'd get a free cocktail, and it was one of those places that's when you still had guys hassling you to get in and yeah. they'd offer you shots. Yeah, 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 and you could proper like. Like if the guy, <laughs> you, you, you kinda, the haggling process was like, he'd go, you want to come in here, lads, two free shots each, two free shots each, and we're like that, 15, 15 each. And I was like, I can't do 15 <laughs> each. And you'd end up getting them down to like seven, and you're like, how is this happening? 15 <laughs> each. <laughs> <laughs> so bold. So you, you, so you got these free shots, and they're always like really shitty Shite, kind of yeah, yeah. flavoured vodka or something. Mm. But um, So you get that, and then we'd get white Russians and a pint, and then... With that, you could also get a deal on. Like, you ever had a fish bowl? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the big just fucking put cocktail in it, and yeah. big straws. So we did that, and we used to get a. We used to have a drinking game where when you're drinking the fish bowl, it was just a stupid game. It was like you'd name a celebrity, and then you'd have to name a celebrity whose first name started with the last letter of the previous celebrity, right? And yeah, right. You had to drink while you think. So that was like, and it, I mean, you were polishing off like a fish bowl in like 20 minutes and stuff. Mm. <laughs> So like, utterly hammered, yeah. and there was a load of girls joined us one night, and uh, I think me and my pa- my pal ended up going out with one of them. Yeah, actually, there were all these girls from Birmingham, and I uh, I didn't know that I'd pulled this girl, and bizarrely, <laughs> the week before they went, she'd been on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, yeah, and won two hundred and fifty grand. Oh shit! Yeah. yeah. So uh, so I I had I'd blacked out and then <laughs> just think of the money yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> i'd blacked out and then um come to yeah while we were shagging oh yeah, oh, yeah like Whoa. properly like suddenly get a realization and then uh the next day i was so hungover to fuck and then she'd been telling everyone around about the pool and, mm. and i was listening to my pals like like that's n- that's not happened again. I was trying to convince them I'd been raped, <laughs> and I, and they were like, I don't think it really counts if you've just too pissed. Yeah, like if you're it, on top. Like, I was I, I, exactly <laughs> like I was trying I was trying to like basically make out like she'd knock me over the head and yeah, drag yeah, me yeah, over yeah. her shoulder over. Yeah. Her, um, so then so I was like, that's not happened again. Last night came, uh, and I was sitting in a bar because I'd lost my pals, and I was sitting in a bar close to us, and she came past. I wasn't even that pissed that time. <laughs> yeah. again. But like, <laughs> this was the problem. Uh, when I was doing it, when after I'd come, I came out and there was no condom on at all. Right. So I'm now going. And this was this was when I was still, I was like 18. So this was a proper panic yeah, moment. Yeah, like yeah. you're kind of, fuck. And then you're kind of going, did I even put one on? Or what the fuck? Like, I right. Don't, I don't. So I... Uh, shitting myself and my pal's going out with this girl now and I'm kind of confiding in them and they're taking the piss out of me and I'm genuinely for three weeks convinced that I've knocked up this girl yeah. from Birmingham that I've only met twice <laughs> who's loaded to be fair <laughs> <laughs> the kid would have got a good life <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but uh, so I'm constantly checking with him going has she said anything has she said anything has she said anything three weeks later mm. after the uh, after the holiday, she was sitting in the bath one night, Shut up. and a condom floated out of her. Genuinely, like I've never, out. I've yeah. never been so relieved and disgusted at the same oh, time. Like it's a Aye. storm drain or something. So just fuck? literally been sitting up there for three weeks. For three oh weeks. My God. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Because you're meant to like sort of seal up when you're in water as well. Yeah. Like, because you can. If you that's what I mean. Like, it's like water. water's gone in and flushed yeah. it out. The floodgates. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, mad. Is, yeah. Wow. wow. <laughs> Three weeks, man. 
And hey, not pregnant, that's good, isn't it? Oh, listen. Uh, yeah. I got her to send me the condom so I could, <laughs> so I could frame it as a... <laughs> Dry it off first and see the post. Pictures are you like that with it? <laughs> <laughs> For all the other listeners, I was holding a fish. That's, that's a mad one. Uh, oh never had like a like pregnancy scares or anything really. Like that's always been lucky. No, Might just be yeah. fertile. You never maybe. know. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Well, hey, don't want kids anyway. So I used to. I remember a guy telling me when I was about fourteen or fifteen at school. One of those things that you're told by someone and you just believe it. Mm. I was told that if you wear two condoms, <laughs> the way the rubber works, it cancels them both out. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just they don't, they don't work. Yeah. Because I'd heard of people, but my pal was like going, oh, yeah, I was like double bagging. I was like, no, you can't do that. Yeah. Like the, 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 the friction of the rubber, some or something in the rubber that it reacts to themselves. Yeah, it's like a, and then a negative and a negative. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. so whatever. dissolves. <laughs> so I was like, you have to go to two, three. We're three because then at least you've still got like, <laughs> like, like a you fucking rubble band ball. Again. Just fucking, just one more over the top. <laughs> just a full box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. It's mad. In the bath it's funny all the it. fucking shit that people used to say. Can you even feel much like if you were to Johnny? Even with one on it's a bit thing, isn't it? Like, Mad. Mm-hmm. Right, An- uh, another one. Another Go question. ahead, yeah. Oh. Um, Go so your proudest moment and your most shameful moment. Um, proudest. Um, I don't know. I was pretty like when I won the comedians' comedian of the year. It's a good one. To that win. was class. Yeah, That's like that was one. proper. Because I did a bit of a shit gig that night as well in yeah, Edinburgh, right. and I got the train home, and um, Andy White, who runs the thing. Uh, text me to say, just let you know you've been because it's just before Christmas as well. Yeah, and the fact that it was just comics. Yeah, that's the best thing in it. Because I'm not like I'm not a, I'm not a critically liked comic. Like right. I'm not I'm not like one. I'm not a fringe comic. Mm. I always feel a bit out of place at the fringe, even yeah. now. Um, but to get that from other comics, yeah, it's that class, was proper right? class. Like they're, the, was they're the ones well whose opinion that, that you yeah. really asked about. Yeah, yeah. It, was so, it was so Like class, if a comic so. comes up to you and goes, hey, that bit's amazing. Aye. You know that that's fucking a banger of a joke or no, whatever. Good, like yeah. audiences, rev- like reviews or whatever. Yeah. It's all it's nice, but it's it's not the same as like a comic who you respect coming over. Yeah, and go, hey, that's class. Aye. That. Aye. Yeah. So then, so you win in like comedians. comedians yeah, and, and like even even the title of it is proper. Yeah, it's like it's. I was well, well chuffed. Yeah, it's right. Do you really get good. like a little trophy? Or? Yeah, you do. You get a, a wee glass. It was because Scott Bennett had won it the year before. Yeah. And then if you win it, you then have to organise a trophy for someone else. It's like a proper wee glass thing. Mm. The oh. Comedians, Comedian of the Year. So now you have name. to organise. We, d- I, we did it for, who won it last year? Uh, God, I can't remember who won. Oh, so you win, you win responsibilities as well. Yeah. So I, that was class. <laughs> that was really class. Nice. Well chuffed with that. Cool. That's great. And what about Shane? Not, not the birth of your kids, no. <laughs> it's, not even like, it's not even top five. Like. <laughs> uh, the sh- most shameful is uh, there was a. So I went to. My pal lived in Barcelona. Mm. And we went to. Was that, I was going. To, oh, we went there first. No, no. I tell a lie. I tell a lie. I'd gone on a stag do to Prague. Uh, with my pals from school and uh, we on the way back I was going to fly back via Barcelona because I hadn't yeah. seen my pal in a while and then we were going to go to a music festival uh, in the south of Spain right and uh, I was get, because I was going to Barcelona and they were all flying back to Edinburgh I was having to get an earlier flight so the night before we basically just like it was one of those ones where I looked at my bank account the next day, and this was when I, c- I really couldn't afford this at all. Yeah, and yeah. I'd taken like four hundred quid out oh. at like six in the morning, oh, and no. you're going what, like genuinely, <laughs> I don't even know what that was yeah. for. But uh, the next day, I was at the, so I had to basically leave from the night out to go to the airport to get mm. some in Prague airport, and I was proper hungover. But one of those hangovers where you kind of you convince yourself that. A wank will sort you out. <laughs> so you're like that. Do you know, like, you have, you yeah, have those yeah. moments get where the, you go, Get the endorphins well, listen, and that, stuff that, from like, it, and like, hopefully you'll get like, rid of the headache It's either from a fry-up or a wank. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't have any eggs in, so I'm fucking... A 400 I'm pound down or a yeah, wank yeah, 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 so. Yeah. Yeah. so I went to the toilet, and this was in the days when... 
like Wi-Fi wasn't really a thing. Mm. Uh, it's certainly not. You had to pay for it. Yeah. So I'm desperately, and and you would get charged at this point for uh, roaming abroad. Yeah. So I know already this is going to cost me. This is like a sixty quid wine. <laughs> so hey, you could have got if, eggs for well. If cheaper, it takes me a while, yeah, yeah, yeah. this this could cost me another four hundred quid. So, <laughs> so I'm sitting in the toilet and I'm looking up porn on my phone, and while I'm doing it, I I spewed first of all while I was doing it. Like I just opened my legs, and spewed <laughs> in between oh. my legs. That's not even the worst bit. The worst <laughs> bit was when I was getting <sighs> proper close in the cubicle next to me. A uh, guy brought his wee boy in. Oh and my The wee God. boy was obviously being potty trained, <sighs> and he was talking him through taking a piss while I was sitting in the cubicle next to him. Oh my! Hung God. over, I with spewing on my knees, one. wanking. <laughs> oh my! And it's one of those ones where you kind of go, "This is this is the lowest point of my life." Yeah, that's a bad one. So that. far, this is the lowest <laughs> point of my life. Like, on that. <laughs> Oh my god! That's really shameful. I didn't like. I, I, I don't like because I because then I was but like you still I, came though. Oh no, I didn't oh. because <laughs> I thought if I come while this wee guys like you know how you like fetish you start oh. yeah. like I don't, yeah. I don't, don't want that now to become don't a want thing. A new kink. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. potty <laughs> training. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, yeah. thank you. Oh, that's rough. That. It's oh. hilarious though. <laughs> Spewing between your legs like is a rough bit as well, isn't it? And like, yeah. weren't even the worst bit. Yeah, children shouldn't be involved in wanks. In your wanks, no. Let it no. be known. <laughs> Let it be known, Very everybody. For everyone out there. Children yeah. shouldn't be involved if in wanks. there's one thing you take away from this afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Don't involve children in your wanks. Love it. Um, there's a Patreon question, but I don't one. understand it. Oh. But you might. I think it's a niche one for Mark. Maybe. Um, it's from Ewan. Shout out. If cinch teams were comedians, which comedian would be which team? Oh, what's a cinch team? So cinch, cinch is the the premiership in Scotland. Oh. Right, okay. So that's who sponsors it. I think Ryland does the adverts for them. Oh. I think it's like a cinch is like, a, if you can't afford something straight yeah. away, you can cinch it. Cinch like clan. Like clan, like like yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, okay. Um, who, who'd comedians so be? What comedian so do they need to be Scottish team? comedians? Well, it just says Do you have to be Scottish to play in that league, is it? Oh, no, no. no anyone okay. can play that. Well, yeah, Scottish yeah, teams, yeah. are they? We're not racist. <laughs> <laughs> um, if it was just Scottish comedians, I'd say Celtic, Bridges, Rangers would be Sloss, although they'll hate me for saying that. Um, and then I think I'd probably, I'd probably come in as like a... I'll go Hibs. Yeah. I'd probably come in as Hibs. Everybody's favourite I, I love football, but I have not a clue what any of these things. I don't know what you just things. said. <laughs> you must yeah. know Rangers. You don't I, know know the t- I know the teams, but I don't know the reference of like... All ah, right, so Hibs, Hibs the... are probably like the fourth best team right. in the country. So I don't know who third would be. I'll chuck Frankie in at third. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> chuck him in at third. Oh, nice, okay. Do you want to do one of them questions? One have of we these mad ones. That's all our ones, isn't it? Um... Drugs, sex, proudest, shameful. Any toxic traits and saving graces? Racism. Racist. <laughs> What's your saving which, grace? Which, it's only which, to white people or something. Do you want to do your top five races? A top five races? Five no, races. I don't want to do that. <laughs> no, like you. No. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hey, toxic, toxic traits? I don't really know. I don't think I've got that many toxic no. traits, actually. Well, have pretty, you got any addictions? I'm pretty sound. Addictions. Oh yeah. Doesn't have to be like anything heavy. It can be like whatever. Yeah. Hey, I die. My phone. Do you know what I am? Right, addicted to, and I think, eh, because I get, I get quite. I don't know if I get quite stressed by the amount of stuff that there is able to watch. Yeah. Right? So there's like Too spend hours walking for something to watch, I, don't you? Yeah. Shitloads, and it's not even films. Like it's TV series yeah. mostly. There's so many TV series mm. that yeah. someone's gone. You need to watch this. You need to watch this. Yeah. So I proper pressure myself and go. I'm gutted. I've not like I, I've not seen Succession. Right. I've seen like the first three episodes. I've not mm. done that, and I've not done the various bits. And then when I do get a chance, I will sit. And you know how Facebook or Instagram, if you watch the videos, I'm so you just sorry. Scroll Let's up. Let's go get the burritos. Go ahead. You can just scroll up. Yeah. And the amount of time I waste just scrolling through those videos. Oh, like, it's fucking, fucking like watching old people it, get their backs cracked. <laughs> yeah, and shit yeah, like yeah. that. People getting spots. That's squeezed. what it's made like, to do, though, isn't it? It's made to keep mental. you on. Like, I done it the other night. Like, I was trying to just sit and not be on my phone. 
And then I like I seen something. I was like, "Oh, what's she in?" Or oh, whatever, you know, one yeah. of them. So you Google I'll it. No, yeah. Well, that that was the fine fine bit. I just wanted to know. But then what I noticed was five minutes later, I was still on my phone. Yeah. And I was like, "Fuck!" I only wanted to check what she was in. And then when I was on my phone, I went, "Oh, I've got an email got there. Check that." Yeah. Oh, what's happening on Twitter? And then yeah. you're in that cycle of doing it. But uh, I do that with with shows and that. You sit there. I spend half an hour trying to find oh, something to watch and then go, oh, do you know what? Fucking no forget now. it. Turn it off. Yeah. I want to go to bed now. Like, it's, it's madness. Because you genuinely feel like you might be missing out on something that is yeah, proper I, game changing. I've, like. I've, I've just gone, you know what? I've missed it. I've oh, just yeah. missed it. Mm. I can't, like, there's, it's just maybe in the future I'll go, I'll go back and watch Aye. some of them. But for now, I'm like, it's gone. I right. just have to live it, live in the world where there's something boss that I haven't seen, yeah. unfortunately. But there are some things I have watched that I would now know I would have been gutted if I hadn't, like, if I'd never seen The Sopranos. Oh, yeah. But I watched I, that when I was younger and I like, saw didn't that. have football to I. do. Like, yeah. Aye. Yeah, yeah. Sopranos is class. I love Breaking Bad. I know people, yeah. some Aye, yeah, people yeah, don't yeah, really yeah, like yeah. it, but I think it's fucking amazing. Like, See, I love Breaking Bad, but I've not seen Better Call Saul. No, I've never I, seen I, one so episode of it. Though. Breaking I, Bad ends, so that's like a nice thing. With yeah, yeah. Finished. Be- Better Call Saul was like, it seemed dead slow. Mm. But like everyone's like, oh, it's well oh, better than yeah. Breaking yeah, Bad, and, that. Yeah. and it's like, but it seems so. Like I watched maybe two seasons of it, and I was like, yeah. nothing's mm. happened yet. Yeah, like so I don't know how much fucking happened in the last like three series or whatever. That's but the thing. yeah, not just everyone's opinion on nah, stuff. because people, some people's opinions are shite in it. Yeah. When you look at pop music and some of the shite that's in the charts and that. You go, I can't judge your can't opinion you. when you're the yeah. one putting these no. in, in no, these no, positions. No, 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 yeah, 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 it's madness. Um, I also don't like when someone recommends a TV series to you and goes, you've got, you've just got to plow through the first two series. Well, no. And then it yeah. gets good. And I was like, I don't have... No, it needs to be good from the beginning. to yeah. waste here. Like, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But I, I like people say that about Breaking Bad. But I never got that no. from it. No, I, I was hooked. I never thought it was First like, oh, episode, it was like... a bit slow and that. I was like, this is fucking class. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I watched it I watched it once through, and then I watched it once with an ex because she'd never seen yeah. it. And then I think I watched it with Amy because mm-hmm. she'd never seen it either. And like the series was still sort of coming out. Fucking class. So I was like, oh, new series. This mm-hmm. is coming out. We need to fucking thingy. And even then I was going through it going, nah, this class. is this is class, this, yeah. Hi. Really enjoy it, yeah. I think people have copied it though, so... Now people have seen versions of what that yeah, is, that maybe. good series and the mm. way that, they, that they've done it, whereas they were one of the first When it first came out, yeah, it was, it was great. Mm. Love that. What, what, what's your, what's your favourite series ever, do you reckon? Sopranos or? Pro- by it, close to, it might be The Sopranos, actually. The Sopranos actually. was class. Yeah. Right? I loved Lost. I never, I really I never loved watched Lost. Lost. Yeah, never um, got on it. I, I probably would be the Sopranos. I really uh, liked it. Did you ever see Flash Forward? Oh, I fucking loved that. It was mad that one. And they it cancelled after one season. Or whatever. Yeah, it was such a mad idea. Were you on to it? No. One so day, good, man. everybody just blacks out and has a flash, like a, a vision of a, a, oh. a, a, a time in the future. Everyone, same date, same time. But some people didn't have one because they've died between oh, now yeah. and then. Oh. So if you, everyone goes, oh, I had this vision, we was here and that and it, and then they're like, I didn't have one. And they're like, yeah. oh shit. So then it's all trying to work out why it happened and that. But obviously when everyone passes out, there's loads of casualties because people are driving yeah, or yeah, flying yeah. or shit like that. Oh, Stadiums of people fucking passing out and all that. And then the whole show is trying to work out like what it was and yeah. why it happened That's and such that. A good idea, and and yeah. they, they cancelled it after like one oh, season or something. Aye. It was mad. Yeah. It was good as well because it's a it good was idea. It was good. Yeah, yeah. It seemed, it's like my idea of my re- memory of it. It was fucking sick. I don't yeah. know if you rewatch it and go, it's a bit shit. Yeah, this, yeah, but Because yeah. it was just a one off and it got cancelled. It was like, yeah. oh, what could have been? It, like, yeah. it felt like maybe that's why I, I think. Like, yeah. I tell my favourite TV series ever, Quantum Leap. Quantum Leap, yeah. yeah. I I loved never, that I've never seen it. A wee kid. Yeah. You know what it's about? Like it's there's like a guy who creates a time machine. Yeah. And he goes back and jumps and leaps into other people's body. And before he leaps again, he has to right a wrong. Ooh. Oh, fucking class. Nice. So it's That's a bit nice. like my name is Earl. I was thinking yes. my name is Earl with, when with you said it. Teleportations yeah. Yeah. and that absolute <laughs> class. Yeah. Yeah, and sick. he's done like he did because there's a new version of it out now and I've not seen it yet. But there's like it gets proper. It gets proper deep in it. Like, mm. there's like, at one point, so he jumps in Elvis in one of the episodes. Yeah. One jumps in Shag of 14 year old. He just is about to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one was easy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
but no, it, there's a lot. There's a lot of civil rights ones as well. Uh, like, right, yeah. Hey, oh, that's cool. Sounds mad. Jumps into a kid with Down syndrome. That's a proper yeah. oh, horrific episode. Like, oh, and it's like, uh, what does what he, wrong what does he, do? does he Basically, he has to. Uh, this kid's getting like, I think he's getting getting like harassed or something. That, the kid's works in like a building site, mm-hmm. and I think I can't even remember what it is, but it's it it, it was a proper groundbreaking thing because it was the first kind of time that like because he, he, there's a couple where he jumps into women yeah and it's the first tv series that's kind of handled women's rights and all this kind of yeah, shit and sexism right. and like mm. abortion and stuff like that yeah, like yeah. it was proper ahead of its time oh, for no like way. a sci-fi show yeah, as well yeah. like it's just oh, it's mad, uh, class i have heard of it but never i didn't know that's what it was about like. i mean it probably would look dated yeah, as yeah. fuck now, but yeah, it's probably still bang on some of the stuff to say. Ah, yeah, 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 <laughs> even yeah. though they were the first to try and like be a bit progressive and yeah. that, it's still probably yeah. ruthless. Nothing's like, changed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could we remake <clears throat> it as a comedy? Maybe that'd be fun. Are you allowed <laughs> to do that? <laughs> you could do you it for this comedy parodies and stuff, can't you? Everyone's shameful moments. Yeah, go back and okay. stop. Yeah. Would it? Because because I didn't know if it was a bet they were doing, but Freddie and Rob got in trouble for that. Taskmaster thing, yeah, didn't no, they? They, they, like they genuinely, genuinely did, did get. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. He was he was on stage the other day, Avalon, wasn't he? And he was saying that they've they've invited them to sue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a bad idea. <laughs> Rob and Freddie, they, like, they're doing the all publicity is good publicity. So that's what they're doing. I wouldn't invite them to <laughs> sue me though. That's fucking sue. stupid. But why are they bothered? <laughs> Like, Who Avalon? I, like, genuinely, why the it. fuck are they bothered? Tried to get the. You're saying they tried to get their YouTube channel taken down. Like tra- properly went after them. Mm. I wonder if it's because Avalon, d- they deal with stand-ups as well. They might just yeah. have a bit of a vendetta against Freddie and that, innit? They might just not like them. Aye. Yeah. Or something. Because other people have done parodies of... Exactly. Literally yeah. the weekend of them get nearly getting sued for Taskmaster, we were like, Great British Bake Off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Every, everyone does though, so they yeah. have to go through the whole of YouTube. And but I don't know whether they've done it too similar though. You're it, allowed to parody. That's the thing, and it's called Task Bastard. Yeah, so yeah, obviously a yeah, maybe. Of what it is? Don't know. But I wouldn't invite them to sue me though. Yeah, that seems like a bad idea. Mm. Well, they like conflict. See you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want to finish with one question? One, one of these question? mad questions. Yeah. Let me find the a mad uh, one. What speaks to you? What speaks to me? Well, there's okay. I'm gonna go for one that that I think would be quite interesting. Who was your childhood crush? Ooh. Oh, um, Jet from the Gladiators. <laughs> Classic. That's a big one, that, isn't it? Classic yeah. Jet. Yeah, you yeah, like yeah. hench women? No, she, but she wasn't, she though. Was she, was just athletic. she was just athletic. Okay. Yeah. She was like... Because I can't remember... I can't remember if she was an athlete or whatever. I knew she was a dancer as well. Yeah, maybe. But it was just... Like, I was at exactly the right age. Yeah. We are. Because that was... I remember... Because Gladiators was on... About seven o'clock or something on a Saturday night, Baywatch was on before it, so it was just a fucking just rock hard for two <laughs> hours <laughs> straight for a, like a for a fourteen year old boy. It was just, it's a fucking minefield. Yeah. Like just, yeah. <laughs> just go to bed after it. <laughs> I'm spent for the night now. <laughs> in bed like Yoda, just yeah. all the fluid in your body just gone. <laughs> yeah, Jet was a big one, wasn't it? People, big one. I always fancied teachers. Me, that was yeah. like a. I had a teacher called Miss Gross in year two. That's our, that's our future Gross. with. Yeah. She looked like Gretchen Wiener. Year two, you saw the future with? Yeah, I, had, that's a, I had a kind of thing where I was like, I think, yeah, that she's the one. And you were in me. year yeah. two? <laughs> well, she looked exactly like Gretchen Wiener from Recess, and I think that was just like... Like, oh, so you 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 were watching the cartoon, you seen a real life version it was, of it, her, and yeah, you were yeah. like, "Oh my god, yeah, yeah. I'm, I love you," like type of thing. Yeah, yeah, I was just it's well into it. And I, I, I'm sure it's what she I was to school with for. Me, but I bet it. I'm sure it wasn't happening. But I, I, everything that any interaction, I think, was like, "Yeah, we're with it." I mean, yeah, yeah, we're year, year two. two. That's <laughs> early to be year two. Yeah. seeing a future with an older like yeah. that. It's, it's too young to be flirted with. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. Yeah, I was. I think when I was a younger as well. Do you still age, have the moustache? Like, <laughs> yeah, always. <laughs> <laughs> always. <laughs> oh, that's funny, that. Gretchen wow. Wiener. 
Well, okay. well, uh, unfortunately, we have to wrap it up, man, because we've got some shit to do. But uh, we've loved having you. Thanks Next so time you're about, we'll get you back on. Definitely. Why to come on for fun? Um, is there anything you want to plug? Thanks. Shows coming up, social um, media, and stuff like that. I have got like two specials on YouTube. Yeah, you will watch them. And I'll, I'm going to link tour. them in the first ever tour. Oh, when does that start? So it starts. I've got three dates in November, and yeah. then I'm going to take a break off over Christmas, and then start it up again. Most of the dates will be in February. And oh, March sick! Have you got year. a website in there? I've got a link tree. A link. So just Tree. Mark Nelson comic on everything. So yeah, send, send us that link. Sure, throw it in the description. What's your tour well. called? Uh, it's called All the Best. All the oh, Best. Nice. What's your specials called? One of them's called Comedian, okay. in, qu- in quotation marks. Classic. And uh, one of them's called Don't Call It a Comeback. Oh, okay, okay, nice. And then you're doing The Fringe as well? Doing The Fringe. Is that going to be like a work in progress of the tour? Or? It's going to be, because it's my 10th Fringe, it's going to be, I don't really know it's going to be yet, actually. Like a best it's of? Gonna be, it's going to be a lot of best of stuff, yeah, but yeah, yeah. see what I can write between yeah. there and then. I'm going to try and write topical stuff during it. That I can That's just cool, do yeah. Nice. So a bit of both, night, like a bit of the best, like aye. gold stuff and then aye. Like some it's topical. Got, I mean, it's not going to be like, a, yeah. I don't think it'll be the same every night. Yeah. I think I'll do just what you see want. what I yeah, yeah. Oh, That's fun, yeah. Can I, can I ask you advice as a comic? Yeah. Give me advice as a comic. Go. Five, just, just any advice. Any, like, Five gigs in. Right. Give me some. It's weird, right? Um, like, are you still at the stage of enjoying it? I'm She's not sure. got to the I'm stage of enjoying I'm it. Beginning <laughs> to. Right, aye. That, take, that takes a lot. Like, to have that kind of moment where you can stand and actually enjoy it okay. as opposed to being. Yeah. Either shitting yourself or mm. you've 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 now gone out your own head and you're now thinking about yeah. other stuff because you're so an autopilot. I would say that. Okay. Um Just try and learn and to enjoy it and, I, mm. and be present. Writing. Like it's oh. it's the hardest. I, I hate it. I the hate only honestly, reason she was writing. got into it was to show her, her skills as a writer, so that's not really the problem. I've done with nothing you, but write since I was fifteen. Oh, that's so this is this is my moment. See the problem I have, I don't know how you do it, but the problem I have is once I have something I can write about, I'm fine. Yeah. Which is why I can do topical stuff mm-hmm. quite easily. It's coming up with things mm. that I need to, that that's if I could mm. get that nailed. I yeah. think I'm the opposite. Really? Yeah. I've got a, a mad head. You've got a mad life as well, haven't you? Yeah. Right. So, so I'm writing about of... my mad life at the minute, but also like I've I've wrote like a fantasy novel. Because uh, cause you can go anywhere with fantasy yeah, yeah, and stuff. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I go anywhere. I don't think I'm good at topical. Yeah. I don't think I don't know if you've tried it though, either. Like that's why I like Twitter. The only reason I use Twitter really is for try and get like use it for like a joke writing yeah. um exercise. Do you know what I mean? Like just keep see see certain things and yeah. you go, Oh, that'll tr- try that and then every now and then it'll go off. And then sometimes you can take that and like I'll try some stuff on Twitter as well and mm. if it gets a good reaction I go, oh, I'll try that yeah, on yeah, stage yeah, yeah. now and, and topical stuff's hard now because because there is social media, most people will put out of a similar idea stuff about even even people that aren't comics will put yeah, out yeah. a joke about a topical thing. Well, I done that OJ thing yeah. on the coronation, and that got my, like, yeah. that's probably my biggest tweet I've ever had. And someone was like, "Oh, copy and paste," and I was like, "I haven't." I was like, "Sorry if other people may have thought this as well." Yeah, but I don't look through things yeah. and go, no, "Of course, well, not. what Why other people you? said yeah. that I can say." <laughs> like I see something, comment? have the idea, pull it out, and then go. And then someone goes, oh, they said that, and you yeah. go, I mean, Gareth Ward on the same thing with the, um, you know, the Just Stop Oil yeah. the, on the thing, and it was like the, the, the snooker, the, yeah, who yeah. set himself on fire, yeah. the Rage Against the Machine cover. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, made yeah. it black and white and reshared it, and was like, oh, this is mad, and then I scroll, and the next thing, Gareth Ward comes same up thing, yeah. a few hours before, I was like, fuck, delete mine. <laughs> but like, when when people like oh you rob this it's like no I haven't robbed why would I rob a Twitter I know, joke I know. like it's yeah. fucking and someone I know like yeah. why yeah, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. fucking but yeah that's the only thing I use Twitter for trying to get topical uh, bits because I think for for if you want to clip something write clip it pour it out burn yeah. it topicals good for that's, that that's that's what I was just gonna say yeah. because I don't like because comparing is obviously the best thing for yeah. but I, I don't want to ever become one of those comics that isn't comparing but then goes out and re the room just so I can get yeah, fucking 
So content. in your set, do, you do a bit like, of comparing. Mm, yeah, like yeah, if right. if I, like I'll speak to the audience, but it will be based on whatever bit I'm doing. Yeah. And then yeah. if something funny comes from, from that, then fair enough. Yeah, yeah. But you can't go out after a compare and then immediately start speaking to the same people. Yeah. Asking the same questions. A lot of people done that chance. at the, the open mic of hot water. I see. And fuck it's just that, man. Because because they'd ask all the same people the same things, and yeah. everyone would be like, mm. he's just. T- and they've not listened. And to got five exactly. Minutes, aye, aye. Mm. And you've only got five minutes as well. So two minutes of that, you've struggled going. Oh, what you do? You work in a library. Oh, that's yeah. weird, isn't it? Yeah. And they haven't got the thing. And you've already made the best, like one of the best jokes you can make from the scenario anyway. Yeah. And then they're trying to come in with a, like a secondary joke to it. And now it's like, yeah. no, stop all yeah. that. Because that, that's that's when you've stopped caring about the night. Yeah. Because what I noticed was when I was doing, when I first, somebody suggested me to start doing clips, what I noticed I was then doing was I wasn't concentrating on having a good 20. You were trying to get I was a clip. Tr- on my head, I was like, try and make something funny so you can get a clip. And I was yeah. like, this isn't who I am. Yeah. And it's yeah. not fair it's the best audience just either. filming. Like, and if something yeah. happens... Completely forget that it's been filmed. Yeah. Yeah. But topical yeah. stuff is the best for it. Yeah, yeah, Because if you can... Like, I'm going to do a bit I wrote yesterday about Eurovision. Yeah. So I'm, I'll do that this weekend. And get that and out. And get out on Monday. And it's done and then, then, then that's it. it. You can't, yeah, you can't yeah. do it again anyway. And you're not so burning any, fucking, any I, material I, then, I, are you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good. Nice. nice. So oh, just enjoy way. yourself and... Yeah. Enjoy it, right. It is hard. Like, it is hard to... Because it, it can be a proper lonely shit job. But yeah. then it's when you start thinking. I don't of, like people, so. Well, <laughs> <laughs> when you start thinking about what you actually get to do as a job, yeah. you oh, then it's the realize best. it's not that bad. That's the best. Yeah. There was a guy told of. me. Um, was it a cut? Yeah. So I, that, like, I host a radio show in uh, Radio Scotland, mm. and we've got guests on. And there was a guy on that was telling me that whenever he's feeling like that, whenever he goes out and goes. Uh, if he's looking at forward to a live performance that night and he's going, I fucking can't be bothered with this. Mm. Every single time he's at the side of the stage, he imagines, what if this is the last time you ever get to do this? Yeah, How right. gutted would you be? And then you have to go and, and then you immediately then go, or whatever, and yeah. then you immediately go, oh, fuck, this isn't actually that yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah it is, it's, it, well, when you're in it, you feel like, oh, fucking, I've got to drive to fucking Leeds or Aye. whatever. And then, and then someone goes, oh, I've, I've done five ten hour shifts this week yeah. and you go ah, but driving to Leeds and talking to people for 20 minutes doesn't seem so yeah, bad exactly, after all. especially when you're having fun you can have a beer while aye, you're doing exactly. it and all that like, yeah. it's like yeah. yeah it's mad great yeah. job um, so yeah right we're going to have to go anyway uh, nice one for coming on man next no, time we'll, so about, we'll get you on and, uh, pleasure. we'll have a bit of a, a thank you longer Cameron. one Shout out Cameron, he's done a lot of work for us. Um, go and, and give the, him a follow on that and, and see whole, what he's the up head to. head on the whole time. Man. And you know, he's committed to that. Feels yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, six months as a horse, you've got to feel comfortable wearing it, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Trying to get a job in pants or whatever. <laughs> 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 so go give Cameron a follow on that. And uh, we're at the same place as we always are. And uh, go check out the Patreon and all that. Live shows, everything. You know it all. Thank you. Uh, nice one. Nice Love one again, you, man. Bye. Appreciate Cheers. you. Take it easy. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>